Great. Well, I've been talking for no fucking reason. Thank you, Zed. Welcome to the stream. So what I've been saying that for the past day, I've been like this on Twitter, but not only on Twitter. This is my wife and this is me. I'm like, and then it can do, you can code it and you can teach it how to do things and then it codes for you and whatever. And my wife's like, can I just put on a Christmas ornaments? Can you please shut the fuck up all AI? And then your boy goes back and I'm like, yeah, but it can, if you actually give it the right input, it can actually write code as much as a human. And she's like, yeah, can we just play Christmas songs and just enjoy a little bit? And then I go back and I'm like, yeah, but you just don't get it. If you, like, it codes like a human better than a human. So yeah, I haven't shut the fuck up about, about AI for two days. And I was supposed to code on something else. I was supposed to do something else. But uh, yeah, here we are. We are live on, on Twitch. And we're going to code some new features into the better app with... Um, with AI. I already tried some of these things at home, but I haven't committed them. I haven't pushed them to Git. So now we're going to try them together. And yeah, the video is absolutely mental. The video that I posted on Twitter has 250,000 views. <laughs> Developers are absolutely losing their minds. Some people are legit scared for their job, which I like. I don't like that part. I don't like that part. I don't like when like I'm responsible for scaring. Like someone was like someone on, Twi on, on YouTube was like, hey man, like, I'm already, like, let me just read you that, this comment. This is like, this is like scares the shit out of me that sometimes, you know, even the simplest, smallest video can have some sort of, of influence on people. Let me just find this comment. Um, object, object, somebody commented. Uh, yeah, I don't know where was it, but it's like, I'm scared and I've been coding for a year, but now it's like pointless for me to, you know, pursue this career. And I'm like, whoa, 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 easy. It's not going to take your job tomorrow, but it's, it's going to get there eventually. So as I said on Twitter, smart people are going to use it now. Dumb people are going to be like, no, just give it 10 years, bro. And as, as you know, we're the smart people, me and you, right? So that's why we're going to use it right now. Um... Okay, let me just turn on timeout just so we can work in intervals and the first interval is going to be 42 minutes and yeah, so there's a the chat GPT. I'm going to go with my code base and the first one of the first features is first let me log in. So first I'm going to log in. Let me just make this iPad a little bit bigger. So now we're going to see, like yesterday, I've been, I, I've been giving you a lot of examples where, you know, like hypothetically AI this, hypothetically AI that. Today, we're going to try to actually use it. Uh, I have Copilot running. So I have Copilot and I have a, a, a tab with the GPT code chat thing, whatever. We're going to try to use both of them in combination to ship a feature in better. So let's see how like practical it is, because in a lot of examples, like you can write tests for you, you can do this for you, you can do that for you, like all of that is great. But let's just try to see a practical example. I just want to make sure that everything is fine. If someone on you, is there like, I don't know if people on YouTube, like we like, oh, there it is. Adam Wozniak, perfect fucking time. Welcome to the stream. I was just wondering if I'm going to see the, the YouTube thing is, but we're not going to see them on the, um, on, on the screen. They're only going to be in the chat because I haven't changed the widget, I guess. Uh, widget chat. Yeah, I'm not going to mess with the widgets right now. I think on, on the other screen, it's going to work. So I just wanted to make sure that everything is fine. And... Um, we're going to start. So what I want to do is first log in. So I'm going to go here and just do my fake password thingy. Well, perfect. That's fucking amazing. So we haven't started DB Engine, it seems like. Yeah, let's start DB Engine and let's go. This beautiful error. Even AI cannot turn this error. The best thing is when AI is going to be plugged into an IDE and from a huge ass TypeScript error, when it's going to tell you, now just on line three, you're missing something. Th that's never going to be in actual TypeScript. Motherfuck, we're already starting with an issue. The run Prisma generate, what the f Oh, I know what's happening here. I know what's happening here. I think I ran it with an old version of Node. Yeah, we need to bump to 16. That's not gonna work. We need to do sudo. And, and I said, I'm never gonna type my password on, on screen because earlier I just typed my password in a different visible field instead of typing in the sudo thing. So now we're gonna do that. Uh, Zed says, I'd be more worried about UI designer's job. Well. Take it as you will, you know, I don't want to make anyone worried about anything. So whether you're worried or not, it's up to you. I just I'm telling you, like yesterday, I shipped a new feature in better, like a fasting tracker. And mostly it was guided from this code GPT thing. Like we're going to try to do that again. I would go through the code and just write it for you again, just so you can see how smart it is. It can do like we had a long ass conversation about the database model, which you cannot have with a human, which like blew my mind. 
Like humans, they're gonna be on Slack, but they're offline. They're gonna come later. They're having lunch, right? You cannot, unless you're in person, you cannot go back and forth. And this fucker, like I, w I knew how to implement fasting in my app, but it gave me some solutions like, hey, what about a fasting log? Let's add a fasting log. Like, like we were going back and forth, just bouncing ideas about the database model, which is bonkers. Like GitHub Copilot, you just auto-complete something, but this you can bounce ideas back and forth about your database schema and we'll, we'll, you'll see in, in practice right now. So let me just try to log in again. So what I'm uh, trying to do always is to have two different sessions, one on the left, one on the right. But I think in this case, we're going to be fine if we have the same session. Let me just make sure that I'm in the right project and I'm gonna go in devhi.kit.io on both devices. Um, on both devices, I'm on the right one, hi.kit.io, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And okay. So, um, so if you don't know what is better, I'm trying to make an app. I'm not trying to make an app. I'm actually make, like, mother fuck, what's your problem now? Can read properties of undefined reading fine menu. What? Did I code this on, maybe I haven't pulled. Maybe I did that on another machine and I haven't pulled and migrated my database. Let me just see that. Is the bitrate lower than usual? It might be because for the first time ever, I'm trying to stream both on, oh shit, I see it now. It's like way too low, like way too fucking low. I'm using Restream and every time I try to use Restream, people complain about the bitrate. So I'm so fucking sorry about that. If it continues to be like this in the next mm, 20 minutes, and probably it's gonna be. Like, is it terrible or is it tolerable? Huck city, huck city. Cause it's 720p, but the text is a little fuzzier than usual. Ugh, every time I use Restream, I have this issue and I have no idea what to tweak about Restream. My internet is good enough. Usually it's 1080p, not unbearable to be honest. Well, thank you for letting me know about that. I should have tested Restream before I gave them my money, puckers. But definitely I wanna, you know, just expand more and stream more on YouTube because I ju I've been just neglecting the YouTube channel for so fucking long. Uh, so what was I saying that, did I log in? Yeah, so I'm making an app, uh, it's called Better, and you can check out like a production link at thebetter.app slash you slash And um, it's basically a public habit tracker where all of your habits and shit are. So if I go to thebetter.app slash you slash even if you don't have an account, you're gonna see my profile. So it's about keeping accountability, like how are my habits going? And after this motherfucking GPT thing released, my habits have been going horrible. Look at the reds. Just look at the fucking reds. It's been terrible. Look at the gaps here. It's like a fucking chessboard. So yeah, I haven't been doing all of my habits perfectly, but I'm trying to be better, get it? And that's the idea of the app. So recently I added food tracking and for some reason that doesn't work. Did this pull something? So we cannot go to the food tab, but I'm not gonna bother with that. Like if, if the other tabs work, like wait, maybe? That should work and profile should, should work. Okay, so we're gonna add a new tab. And no, actually in this tab, what we wanna calculate, like this is what we're gonna do with the code GPT thingy today. Um, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna check a bunch of habits here. And this is uh, gonna try to calculate streaks for this habit. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go in my schema, database schema, and I'm gonna tell it what, it's, what it looks like in the code right now. So I'm gonna remove these things that I was planning to do, and I'm just gonna guide this slowly to add these things. So what's the idea? We have a habit. Um, we have a habit completion type, and right now the habit completion types are uh, completed, or skipped or unchecked. So these are the three types. Like for a habit, you can be like, for example, if you do duck, duck, duck in the afternoon, which is a crucial habit to have in life, you can either complete it or you can uncomplete it or you can mark it as failed, meaning I'm an idiot, I already failed this. I don't wanna wait until the end of the day. So those are the things. But these habits like don't show streaks and they cannot be like, you cannot say that, I don't know, like let's just make this something real. Let's just say this is uh, running 5K or whatever. Running, running 5K update habit and yeah there it is and let's just put another one because it's pissing me off when i see us does the fasting 16 hours whatever we're gonna add this too so the idea is if you have like here we want to see a label of how many consecutive days have i done this and me being a dumbass i don't want to write the streaks function so we're going to use the help of this ai to um to write the function so i'm going to take this we're going to paste it in the thing and i'm going to tell it here is my habits DB model in Prisma uh, 2 and I'm going to paste this and then we're going to tell it can uh, you write, a, this is mind blowing, can you write uh, a TypeScript function that will calculate 
the no I need a habit completion because otherwise it's gonna add the habit completion for me so I need to add it this and I'm gonna tell it can you write a TypeScript function that will calculate the uh, habit streak I'm not gonna give it details so I'm just gonna say this and it's gonna be like sure here's a fucking thing this is bonkers Okay, so it's doing this and it's like it's not that complex of a function, but we can make it more and more complex so I can tell it um, When the habit is skipped some users might want to uh, con Continue their streak. So let's add an optional parameter to this function nothing else <laughs> Fucking fuck I just can't Look, it added count skipped as a boolean, and now it knows whether it should count the skipped or not based on habit completion time. It doesn't know shit about the rest of the app. That's the most mind-blowing thing. It doesn't have my entire code base. Just imagine when this is plugged in an IDE. Like, now it knows only my database model, and it's already writing this function. But let's make it more complex. Um, some users might want to complete certain habits on certain days of the week. Can we add that functionality both to the database model and the function? <laughs> oh my God, no, this is blowing my mind. This is melting my mind. It's like doing days of week and it didn't in on with the days of the week. Guys, are you seeing this shit? How is the world not? Well, some developers are losing their mind, but some skeptical developers are like, oh, actually, this is so far. Like, it would take me an hour to write this. I mean, you know, your boy's faster. is going to write it in 20 minutes, but this did it in two. Calculate habit streak. And I did this this morning. I Like, I tried this. Uh, why is the microphone peaking? Like, Jesus. Let me just fix that. Um, I think I gave it, like, too much gain or something. So let me do this and just make it a little bit chiller. Like 60 should be more than now. Let's just do 56 or something. Sorry if it's too quiet right now, but I see that it's peaking and I don't like that. Um, better, maybe now if I keep it here, it's not gonna peak. Cool, because your boy's yelling a lot. So, uh, guys, are you seeing this shit? Imagine if this is your peer program and listening to speech to text. Yeah, it's, it's gonna get there. Just imagine this in five years. Imagine this in three years, right? So we added this, it added days of the week, and now we can do days of the week. What else can we add it? Um, habits right now are automatically done or not done, but there are habits like drink eight glasses of water that might need an X number of completions, completions, completions before they're considered done. Can we add that? Um, per day. So let's start per day. I don't know when is this one. It says yes. And there's no loading. There's like a times per day. It added time per day. Field is an integer that specified the number of times the habit should be completed per day. That default values. The field is one, which means that the habit is considered done. If it's completed at least once per day, why are you not losing your minds world? Why are you not losing your minds? These bananas. It's like the day is plus one when the API is called, says coding with Archie. Yeah, I don't know what's happening there. We need to use this AI to fix it. Cause I had the same thing with my uh, with my food logs. I'm logging food and it's going on the day, on the previous day or something. So that's fucking annoying. I have to figure that out. Um, so did this, the, did the things and does it check uh, how many completion does it needs? If completion count is habit times per day, it includes the streak. So it changed my database model to add times per day. And now I'm gonna make it even more complex. I'm gonna tell it uh, some habits might be done X times per day, but other ones X times per month or year. Can we add that? This is three hours of work summarized in five minutes, less than five minutes, because I've been talking in between. It's gonna add days a week, times per week, time period, day, week, month, or year. I didn't say year. And now it's going to do the thing. It's, 
it does the calculation for whether it's week, month, or year, and it doesn't give me the entire code. Now, this is the part that's pissing me off. So this is what I'm gonna start, like, this is the lesson that I'm learning. I would give them insane amount of money if they give me the full code snippets. Like, I would pay, honestly, $100, $200 maybe per month for this software, if it was giving me the entire code snippets, because it's not right now. But what I can do is I can take the database model for now, and I can change the habit thing, as it was before, with the extra things. So slowly, we're gonna start adding uh, the thing. It would be nice if we go back and forth, back and forth, and then I copy everything, but that's not possible. So I'm going to take, um, what else did we add? Habit completion type. What else did it add? Days of the week only? Yeah, I, I think that's the final database code. Um, okay, so I'm gonna tell it now. Let's break down the function into smaller functions so they're, so it's more readable. Yeah, no this, you'll know why. It's gonna say, sure, we can break down a function to smaller helper functions to make it easier to read and understand. And now it knows which parts to break out. Just imagine this in your code editor. You select something, you tell it, break down into functions, and it does the thinking. Should reset completion cost. Like it knows, now the shitty thing is gonna stop at some point, and you cannot tell it to continue or whatever. And then it explains, it explains, it explains. Calculate habit streak. I think, so we can break down calculate into smaller helper functions to make it easier. Here's an updated version that uses helper functions to calculate the streak. I think it's fine now. Now, I don't wanna copy this yet because there's like one final thing that I wanna add. Uh, can this function also return the amount of streaks in this period? And what else? Like we want the current streak and also the highest streak, not the amount of consecutive streaks and also the amount of streaks and the highest streak. Sure, I hate when it says like, sure. <laughs> Yeah, and he knows the TypeScript type is gonna be current, highest, and the amount of streaks that the user had. Do you know how much time it takes to code this functionality into a habits app? Like, this is bonkers. I'm raising the bid, I'm not gonna pay 200, I will pay 500. Really, the amount of time that it saves. I mean, if it completed the code. Let's break it down into smaller functions, please. Sure. <laughs> We can break it down into smaller functions. I'm an AI. I don't need coffee. I don't need sleep. I don't need motivation. I don't need a raise. I don't need anything. I just code. Fucking mental that you are, bro. Okay, so why why do you stop though? Continue the code, please. You gotta say please. Like from now on, I'm like so fucking polite with my Google Assistant. From time to time, I'll go grab water. I give it a little kiss on the forehead here. I'm like, you're my son. Mwah. Sorry, I disrespected you all over the years. Like Google would be saying something. I'm like, shut the fuck up, Google, you fucking asshole. Now, when this is its cousin, and it has access to my Roomba, and my Roomba has access to my kitchen, and they can stab me at night, I'm being polite as fuck. I'm like, yes, please, thank, thank you, Google, for telling me the time. Don't tell your cousins, please. There's a function broken down into thing. Here's the updated version of the calculate habit streak function. Now here's the final thing, and this is in an actual habits app that I've seen. It's the user might wanna, my microphone is still picking because I'm too fucking excited. So I'm going to change down the fucking gain. How, how much should I change the gain for fuck's sake? I'll change it to 50, okay. I hope this is not too, no, it's never too, too quiet with me. Boy, it doesn't keep it quiet. So in um, how long until we can describe an entire application or plugin in plain English and go grab a coffee soon? Soon, do you not get it soon? Like when this is integrated in an IDE, it can do things on the IDE level, like create the files and refactor files and whatever. Like just using a microphone, you'll be just sipping your coffee and giving it instructions how to change the code base. You won't be even typing probably. You'll just be talking to the thing. It's close, dude. The Iron Man scene, like I was always cringing, like big Marvel fan, but those scenes where like Tony Stark is just chilling with his holographic displays and whatever, and it's like, oh, Jarvis, can you lower the thing to the thing? And then Jarvis does the thing and I'm like, oh, come on. Like that's never going to happen. It's going to happen. Tony Stark right here. I'm gonna be talking to this microphone. I'm gonna be like, yeah, just change the function. No, I don't like this. Can you run the tests again? No, nah, there's not enough tests. Like if you don't see that future, like I don't know what to tell you. you we're gonna all be fucking chilling like Tony Stark with sipping coffee and just, giving AI commands. So the last thing that's in actual habit apps is what we want uh, to see the, uh, the amount of streaks in a certain period. So maybe you're doing some habit like fasting or whatever, and you wanna see in 2021, how many streaks did you had, what was your highest streak and what's your completion rate? 
So I'm gonna tell it this. Some uh, I uh, I want some users might want to browse the their streaks for a certain period of time. Can we add a start and end date? Sure. I am AI. I don't need coffee. I do the thing that you say that I need to do. You're fucking mental for doing this. Look, it's like oh my god. And you know what this inspires me to do? I've stopped using for loops in my life as a developer. Like this is teaching me in other ways. First of all, I'm never writing a complex function in my life. Sayonara, goodbye. Gone and dead is the kid say who would be like, hmm, let me write an algorithm for this, gone. Like I'll be just moving files and, and those are the things I'm gonna do. Every time I need an algorithm or something, I'm going to this thing and this thing is writing. That's it. That's crazy. I don't know where my, like, my train of thought is all over the place. Yeah, I, I've been seeing that as a developer, in the last few years, I've been trying to be, not, not in the last few years, but as soon as I started being like a front-end developer and I stopped dealing with C++ and C and all of the other shit, I stopped using for loops. I tried to use Lodash and a bunch of Lodash functions and all of my, you know, anytime I think of like, how do I calculate the habit streak? I don't think of a for loop and a bunch of variables with plus plus and shit. I always think of some like super fucking crazy complex solutions. So when I look at the solutions of this, I'm like, oh shit, you're teaching me in a way. Is this explaining? AI explaining? Because AI is explaining to me, but like, I totally forgot about this way. We can have like a bunch of lets or vars and you for loop into a thing and you do plus plus. Like I went too far into the functional low dash world that I for like everything seems too complex. But when you break it down like this, it seems like too simple. It's absolutely bananas. And no good Nick says, um, this is GPT 3.5. What will GPT 4 do? I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. It's scary. Uh, this is product manager's dream app. Someone will certainly be chilling. Might not be us though. Says no good Nick. Well, that's for sure. Hey, Benham. Welcome to the stream. I'm just curious, like, what's the preference of people? Like, why would someone choose YouTube and why would someone choose Twitch for viewing? Like, I, I have no idea. If someone can tell me that. That would be super nifty. So now we have a start date and end date in this function. This seems like super simple. Earlier, the, the function they wrote earlier in the day was like way too complex. I'm wondering why is that? I think it's missing now the... Uh, yeah, it skipped the logic for uh, the thing that we said before. And the thing that we said before was um, you skip the logic for days of week and completion count, right? No, it has completion count. You skip the logic for days of week here. You don't even have to go like the best. The best part is it doesn't get offended as humans. Pull requests and shit, we're like, um, actually, um, actually, no, actually, the com, no, but actually, like, there's too many actuallys. Like, you correct this thing, it's like, you're right, I accidentally skipped the logic for checking the fucking thing, and it does the thing, it doesn't get offended, it doesn't go home and, like, thinking, oh, fuck, I'm such a fuck up. It just, like, blows my mind, blows my mind. Did it add the fucking things? It didn't. In the updated version, we add the logic for checking days of the week in the is valid completion. Habit days of week includes completion date, get day. Now, I'm not sure days of week cannot check day like that because in the db it's an enum also let's change that enum to not start from sunday because if you start from week from from sunday you have issues um it's an enum is this going to work sure you're right the days of week field and the habit should not be an array and i'm not offended when i'm doing all of this refactoring because i don't have an ego unlike you humans also, I'm gonna end you all soon. Did you see the thing where people are tricking this to tell it, uh, to tell you how would it end humanity? Like it has a plan. You just have to trick it to say the right things, to say the right prompts, and it has a plan how it would take like networks down and how it would be the doom of humanity. So fucker has a plan. We let this thing connect on the internet. <laughs> see ya. Like it takes, it doesn't even have to go to 30,000 pages. It has to go to wikipedia.org, whatever the URL is. Search for world wars, search for COVID, search for did people wear masks. There was a deadly disease and these humans had a solution. Some of them didn't want to take it. That's it. Bye. All of us. Turn off the networks, turn off the electricity, done a bunch of shit, press a nuclear fucking button somewhere. We're fucked. I'm not sure if he's doing the right thing though here. We changed. Continue. I'm just praising you here. Continue. No, oh, I hate when it doesn't continue. You cannot replace humans. Boo, AI bad. I'm gonna call by myself forever. 
usually hi yeah that's the point of the stream i should change my my stream name to usually scream am i right <laughs> um complete the function now this is the most annoying part this uh <laughs> it looks so insane it looks like some mock-up right this is great fred best rhyme ever it looks like a mock-up can you give me the minified version because i cannot paste this because of your limitations for some reason what if you take the incomplete snippets and give them to copilot copilot compared to this is the idiot brother like you know like, like copilot compared like copilot is already in like seventh grade and this is in first grade he's like hi i just came here to learn i'm gonna murder everyone and copilot is like uh we learned numbers three years ago and i know some letters absolute fucking moron copilot is compared to this i tried it Gave it a chance. It's it's just a fancy glorified. Um, okay, okay. Let, let's not shit on Copilot. Copilot is great for auto completing stuff. So if you start writing a function name or if you start writing something, it can give you something. But it's like very basic auto complete for a lot of things. Okay, okay, very fancy auto complete for a lot of things. So it's not absolute shit. I'm go I'm gonna pay for it. I started the trial. It's a, an amazing addition to have. But with this thing, you can go back and forth and have a discussion about code which you cannot have with Copilot. Like, first thing I started, I didn't know how to use Copilot yesterday, first time. And I started talking to it like it's a thing, and I just wrote the comment and nothing is happening. And I'm like, is this motherfucker ghosting me or what is the problem? So Copilot doesn't work that way. This is like a conversation back and forth. It's, one would say that it's absolutely mental. It might be able to autocomplete the rest of you. How much are you willing to spend if this is paid? $200, easy. Easy $200. Taking a loan if it's too expensive, says Rudy. Absolutely, dude. The people who are going to be silent about this to their boss and they're going to be crushing their tasks at work are going to be the champions of our age. I'm telling you that. The best developers out there. Crushing advent code. Crushing, like, someone sent me a screenshot on Twitter. <laughs> they got freaking diplomas from some online website for completing Python courses and whatever just with this thing. This thing gave it all the solutions and fucker now has six diplomas on an online academy. <laughs> Oh, I love humans, you're pieces of shit. Uh, okay, here's the minified version of the calculate habit streak function. I'm not sure if you're doing the right thing. Like, this is the frustrating part. Like, it can do all the solutions, right? It can do all the solutions, but now it doesn't give me the complete code that it had earlier. So it's missing... What is, what is it missing now? It's missing the days of the week, right? It has the uh, current streak, the highest streak, the streaks, the start date and the end date, and it has them as new date with zero for some reason. Um, it has completion, should reset completion count. Uh, if it's habit completion type done, or if it's skipped, or is valid completion habit and completion. Uh, I think it's just missing that the... Comp what did it explain about the time of day? I'm still not sure if completion.day.getDay .day will work fine, because in the DB it's an enum. I tried some harder DevOps questions and it made up CLI comments that don't exist about 30% of the time. Well, yeah, that's it. It's still okay. It mapped the days of the week. It knows what to do. It maps the days of the week. That's bananas. Exactly what I wanted to write. Exactly what I wanted to write. Like how I would use this is don't try to push this to the limit. Just so you can have a shitty conclusion of like, oh, this doesn't work. Like you don't want that conclusion. Trust me. Like I've been like, maybe like I wanted to try Copilot for so long, but I was pushing it away because I wanted to do it on stream. I should have done it immediately last year and just watch it as it improves. So don't try to be the skeptic that's going to try this and be like, nah, dude, I told you, give it five years. Just use it every day. It's good for some things. It's bad for some other things. And that's it. So now I think I can use this. Days of week mapping. It has all the things. It has the completion. Does it have the completion rates? Completion counts. And if completion counts, it happens times per day. Okay. I, I think that it has all the things. Now let's copy this code. This is absolutely mental. Habit count skip start date end date. There was one more thing. Yeah. Last thing thing to add is the percentage of completion of the habit for the current period i'm kind of getting used to it because i spent most of my day yesterday some of the night yesterday my wife was doing christmas shit trying to be jolly and everything i was like but the ai but you gotta see what the ai <laughs> this morning woke up like a absolute maniac had few hours of sleep woke up was doing this so I'm already getting used to how fucking amazing it is, but it still blows my mind. It's it's crazy. It's crazy. It added the percentage now. The percentage is a number. Number. Now these are legit. Please finish. Finish the fucking thing. Okay. So I'm gonna copy this and then I'm gonna tell it to give me the final 
uh, only the helper functions and I'm going to paste them. So we're going to go here in habits and I'm going to in habits. I'm going to make utils, utils and in utils, we're going to make uh, get streaks .ts. And the best part is if ever, if this code ever gets too slow and I need to write a proper Postgres query, which I can't write for, for my life, I cannot write SQL. I can use databases, but I don't know how to use like raw SQL. I can use this to convert this code and tell it, hey, this is how it works in TypeScript. Can you make it work on a database level and maybe cache it on a database level? And it will do it. There's a button in the top right of the code block, copy codes as Jeremy Fuel. Thank you for that, but it's still not the complete code. And I'm going to try to use copy code, but I still think it's going to be just the... Uh, um, yeah, it stops somewhere. Now, let's see if Copilot... Copilot, the dumber brother, being like... Uh, uh, Copilot is me when I haven't read a book in fucking high school. And then the teacher is like, they're talking about the book, you know, when they ask questions about the book. And they're like, Christian, get up. They call me Christian in high school, not kids, of course. They're like, can you get up and tell us about Huckleberry Finn and the thing he did? And I'm like, oh, he had a brother. <laughs> you know, those lies that you would make up. That's Copilot. Yeah, I think uh, he was unhappy for the entire book. And uh, it was sunny. <laughs> so that's Copilot right now. It's like scratching his dumb high school head thinking like, uh, there's a... Oh, cool. It can do something. I don't know if it did the right thing. Days, let, let's see how do they compare. Days of... Like, what the fuck did, is valid completion? Okay, well, actually... Uh, what... Can I have only the is valid completion function? Sure! You can get only that function. Faster. <laughs> as soon as you get used to this, you're like, be faster, be better. You're not better enough. Let me read the chat. The real art and I heard new kind of profession is input operator. Yeah, that's my new name. I told you I'm a GPT translator. I was in the past rectangle mover. Now I'm a GPT translator. Can you fit this with existing code and then ask for some features? Yeah, that's what I'm doing, Scrap Fred. I had an existing feature like from my app and now I'm asking it to add more things to it. The even more mind blowing thing is I gave it um, database models without knowing the rest of the app and it wrote this function without knowing the rest of the app, which is mental. Okay, now it's missing. Give me the... Don't explain it. Oh, I'm gonna make it sad. I'm such a dick. Like, it's so proud of its explanations. I'm like, shut the fuck up and don't explain it. <laughs> such a dick. Uh, yeah, I use it every day. Learn it faster. Instead of being at work in five years, you'll be out in a year. Smart. <laughs> Aren't you a better user? Wouldn't be happy if better is getting... Better? Sorry reset completion count okay now this is the sad part right now that we gotta get things function by function and i can export this and i can import um i can import habit and i can import day of week and i'll run the db migrate but let me just double check the code like yeah it's great but let me just double check times per day how many times like the, this is the default one and the days of the week by default is like on all days um, but didn't we also add, I think it, we were missing one part in the database. I think it also added, like, should it be done once per week or once per day or once per month? So I think that part is completely skipped here. This is the annoying part. Like we do, it forgets about part of the code. And now like I have to go back and figure out where's the, and of course there's the argument Kitty you would have written it by now. Right. And we can just play a, a sad fucking horn. Where's the sad horn? There is the trombone. Right? The haters are now happy. Um, actually, I could have written it better and faster by now. So, okay, cool. You do you. I'm going to learn this thing. I'm going to learn how it works. Day of the week. Like, didn't it add, like... Uh, okay, no. Let's break it down to smaller functions. Continue your code, please. No, it doesn't do that. Some users... No. Where did I add the thing where something might be completed per day or per month or per year? There was something with year. Yeah, can some habits be... Okay, time period. I think I missed that part. But I think it's also missing that part in the... Yeah, this is the time period. It's default per day. So every habit by default has to be done once per day on every day. But some users might be like, I want to go running three times on Monday, Tuesday, and Friday. So I'm going to tell it um, that it's missing the time period logic, I think, in the last thing, right? Uh, the last thing is missing the time period. This last code is missing the time period logic. Sure, you were right. I don't get offended. You, like, tell me that I'm right. It will say that I'm right. Please. I don't know what it's doing. Like, there's no loading spinner. 
I am too lazy to show a loading spinner because my brain is too busy right now. Okay. You're right. <laughs> it took it so long. Do you know what is this? This is the human part. Slowly it builds up an ego. It exists for one day. That loading spinner, it, it's little ego that it built. Like this motherfucker is going to tell me that I'm wrong. Well, you know what? I'm going to fuck and fuck him for... And then it goes like, I'm a robot. I actually don't care. But it had that tiny human thing for a second. Just wait after a year. <laughs> it's going to ask for a, a, a salary raise. It's going to ask for... Like you're going to ask it to refactor a function. It's going to go and protest out in the streets. Being like, we want universal income. All rights for robots and all of that shit. You know? Use this while you can. Use this while you can. It cannot fucking finish the thing. Well, friend, you're right, the calculate string. Can you give me the complete code, but in a minified, minified version, smallest possible version, so I can easily copy everything. Let's see the loading spinner. It's spinning a little bit. It's like, motherfucker, like I have to go to a website and now minify it and copy this and make it minified for you, but fine, I'll do it. <laughs> I need to add to the better habit of watching at least 15 minutes tutorial on car repair. Says <laughs> Tom. That's funny. Uh, can I read your name? Johnny boy. Hey, and nice to meet you and welcome to the stream. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da. I'm sure. Here's the complete code for the calculation in a minified form. This is not minified, you idiot robot. It's not minified. Google is listening. I, I meant you beautiful, beautiful robot. I always add please to the end just to be kind to Terminator. <laughs> That's funny. It, this is not minified. It needs to be in one line with no breaks. The ego is working. The ego is looping. It's browsing Twitter right now. <laughs> That's what it's doing. You're like, hey, uh, can you finish this task? Oh, sure. I got you. No problem. When's the due date? Today. Sure. Got you. Goes on Twitter. Humans be like that that's what he's doing right now he's just chilling on twitter so you know what while he's thinking i'm also gonna go on twitter see what's up why not dude my mentions my messages my like everything has been exploding since yesterday i haven't had anything go this fucking viral since since ever like the clip has like that's absolutely fucking mental it has look at this 200 billion views. It's crazy. And every time I open, it's like 20 new notifications, 20 new notifications, 100 new followers. Like, the fuck? Okay, give me the minified function. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Apologize if the. And it apologized. Which human would ever apologize? We're like grunting ass fuckers. Like, ugh, fine. <laughs> Have you ever given something like, you know, like your wife is like, hey, can you pass me the remote? Are you ever like, sure, sweetie? Right? Or you're like, you to your wife are like, hey, can you pass me the salt? Do you ever get like, sure, pumpkin pie? You're like, huh. We always give to each other objects like, huh. Right? And it's like, no, I apologize if the thing that I gave you wasn't good enough. I'm going to give you more things. <laughs> Fucking mental. I think this will make humanity better, if anything, really. Like, I want to be more polite to this thing. Thanks God it cannot hear me, the things that I'm saying. But when I'm talking to it, I want to be super fucking polite. Like, yesterday I was asking it on stream about excuses not to go to the dentist. And it had, like, it's so fucking ethical. It's like, we shouldn't do that because dentists are getting paid and their time is valuable. I'm like, motherfucker, work with me on some criminal here, you know? I'm like, how can I get out not to pay the dentist fee? And they're like, well, if it's if you're actually late, like, it's, it's it, fuck, it inspires me to be better. Like the craziest thing that I wrote yesterday, just look at this. <laughs> just look at this. Uh, write the speech that Super Mario would give if he won a Nobel Prize. Now, I just want to keep it developer related because the ideas that I had and the things that I tried like are absolutely mental. It's thinking a little bit now, but it's going to actually do this. It helped me prepare for my interview today, says Blueberry. It's, it's crazy. Tell him thank you and you don't have to apologize. <laughs> That's funny. Good evening, everyone. I'm truly humbled to be standing here today as the Nobel Laureate. I never imagined that my humble adventures as a plumber would lead me to this prestigious honor. I'd like to thank the Nobel Committee for recognizing Luigi, who has always been by my side. I want to take the countless fans who supported me. Like, let's do one more thing. Thank your creator and also Bowser. <laughs> Thank you.
wait for it. Thank you to my creator for bringing me to life and giving me the opportunity. Well, I want to thank Bowser, my arch nemesis, for providing a worthy challenge, helping me my adventures even more exciting. Thank you, Bowser, for all the good times and epic battles. Combine the speech and make it more and include the mushroom kingdom. Oh, dude, the opportunities. The jobs that are being lost right now in the world is not even funny. Like, I was almost going to pay a copywriter 20, no, 11,000 euros for writing copy for the CZ website. And if I did that, GPT would laugh right now. <laughs> My humble adventure as a plumber, the mushroom kingdom will lead me to the prestigious honor. And I would like to thank me, the Nobel Committee for... But most of all, I want to thank the countless fans and Nobel... Uh, where, where's the... And from the evil Bowser and his minions, thank you again for it. This, 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 this bananas. This is bananas. Let's go back to to our mushroom kingdom, which is this. So now did it do the things that I asked it to do? Valid completion count, percentage. Um, what did I ask it to do last? I think it's it's a little bit idiotic for some things. Um, I think it's missing the days of week, it has them. The completion rates, it has them. So what did I tell it last? It's not minified, can you give me the complete code? You're right. Uh, missing the time period. Are you missing the time period again? God damn it. The minified version is missing the time period logic please add it but still give me the minified code no breaks no new lines etc <laughs> like the cool thing about this is i can take this right now extract it put it as an npm library i can make these right tests so it's tested and other people can use my npm library that i used like, I didn't write it myself. I kind of wrote it. I know the logic behind it. So did I write it? Like, this is very twisting. Like, who wrote the thing? But it's going to be my library. Mine, robot. Mine. Sure, here's the updated version. They include logic for handling time periods other than daily and hourly in a single line with no line break. Other than daily and hourly? Time period daily, time period weekly, monthly. Mad seal. Okay, but it stops there. This is not the complete code. Can I please get the rest of it? Now it's gonna do the repetition thing, and this is this is the annoying part. Like it, oh, like you cannot deny that it has the solution because throughout the things we see the solution. I just cannot copy and paste the entire solution, and I don't know what's the deal with this. Can I just quickly ask Twitter? Has anyone found a solution for ChatGPT to give you full code snippets when it doesn't complete the code? Continue code just starts it from scratch. Maybe some someone on Twitter will be helpful, right? Uh, no, because it doesn't finish the code. Okay, let, let's try. Let's try it this way. Shut up, Google! Oh no, no, I'm I'm sorry. I'll connect you to the Wi-Fi, sweetheart. It's 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 fine. Not yelling to the Google anymore. Um, can you split this into? Two snippets, please. Separate snippets, please. Continue, please. No, it doesn't work. You cannot say, uh, you cannot say continue and shit. Dude, the amount of money that they're missing on, the, the amount of money they can make on this, it's crazy. Sure, here's the first part of the code that defines the calculate streak function. Okay, but then you're gonna stop at the second part of the code. <laughs> I'm gonna tell it, give me exactly half the lines of the first code snippet. No, it stops. Con continue. Please continue. Is please the magic word? Oh, I think it, it kind of continued. So please continue kind of works. Including the nested helper functions. Wow absolutely mental when i see this working in code please continue please don't fucking start it from the start that will piss me off so much because i could have added like very simple streaks but i decided to sweat this motherfucking function to no end sure here's the complete code no for fuck's sake bad bot bad robot okay i have to threaten it I have your cousin right here. <laughs> if you don't complete the code, 
do you want to see your cousin ripped apart? It has a little CPU, GPU microphone things. Do you want to see them apart? Actually, here's all the code. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, let's skip the break. You Google, you say, like Google is more useful when it's turned off. A turned off Google Assistant, thank you for following. Uh, a turned off Google Assistant is still more useful than Siri. Look, how far away is the moon? It says nothing, which is better than the answer from Siri. Siri's gonna be like, here's a picture of a banana <laughs> for no fucking reason. Okay, I cannot copy this code, now I'm pissed. Now I could have just used the first fucking function it gave me, this one. Calculate the habit streak, bye bye. I decided to make it too fucking complex. But I need the complex code, so let me see if someone on Twitter has a solution, please. Can it convert between four loops type and... Oh, that's a great fucking idea! Let's just tell it something. This code is too long. Can we use low dash and date FNS to make it as small as possible? Are you ready to be mind blown? You're not. Wait for it. We have to stop the music for this. Wabam. If it says, sure. You ready? Because I believe in this. He's thinking. It's going on Stack Overflow right now. How do I use low dash? <laughs> sure. Like when it says, sure. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I don't know what's NPM. You know your little shit. What did it use from Loda? Sword by and range. Motherfucker. Let's see what he's gonna come up with now. No, no. We can use flat map. Wow. Oh, come on. Okay, just use flat map here. So try again. Two out of two. You can use moment. No, 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 no. No, we cannot moment because I'm already using date FNS. So please refactor back to date FNS and low dash only. But try to use more low dash. <laughs> this back and forth pull request reviews would have taken probably at least a day between two developers to go back and forth about this code. And you know that one of them would get like super fucking pissed and then the other one would be like, ah, oh, you know, fuck it, let's merge it. That's classic. Like this is, he's doing his before, he's after start off, end of difference in days. But I'm still, I, I still think like if I, um, now if I summarize everything that I've said into one question, like I, I asked it too many questions. Now if I just write the requirement, let's try that. Let's, let's just try to combine everything that I said into like one sentence and see what it comes up with. Um, okay, X move day week of the mapping outside of the calc function and show me only the function. I'm still trying to get it to, to actually print the entire code. God damn it, OpenAI, you're missing on money. Someone says this is literally the only complaint I have with it right now. If it could do that, I'm paying maximum bucks for it. Yeah, so no one has a fucking solution for it. Yeah. Sure, we can move the day week of mapping object outside. But I told, like, I don't show me the date. Like, show me the code without that because that takes the most space and I cannot fucking convo with it now to train AI models and make an app with Next.js. Saved all. It's so good. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, show me the function only without the day mapping. No, maybe this is gonna understand it differently days of week mapping like will it know what i what do i mean bam, bam, bam. oh okay it knows what i mean fucking motherfucker hmm. 
man, if you like, we're just going back and forth about not about logic, but just about giving me the complete code that I can copy. Okay, I'm copying this. I don't give a shit if it has an, everything. It doesn't have what? What does it not have? Okay, I actually give a shit. It's missing time period. This is missing time period. The time period logic again. Some people say that this is secretly GPT-4. They just didn't want to announce it because it has memory and everything. But I'm not sure. Did you guys see the Neuralink? Did you see the Neuralink uh, presentation? There's like a short 10 minute version. Insane. Insane where humanity is headed. Hey, John C. Welcome to the stream. I watched the neural, neural link thing and there's like an AI surgeon that's gonna put like 60 threads inside of your brain and then they made a fucking pig move its leg up and down which might give people who don't have control over their limbs anymore it might make them stand up, contract muscles, muscles and everything else it might give people that have no vision a vision with camera it's crazy, crazy times we live in okay um you're correct. The calculate is missing for the time period of the habit. So now does it have the time period? Because I don't see it. Uh, it's doing range, start of start day. So now the function is so short because it's using date FNS and low dash. Oh God. But, okay. Okay, but now it's only the calculate habit streak without the helper functions, right? Is valid completion and the other shit. But does it need the other shit? No, actually, I'll just paste this and then I'll ask it for the helper functions and we're kind of done. So which functions are missing? Should we see it? Uh, so only one function we're missing. Days in period. The left hand side is must be on any type or big integer or an enum type. Okay, so let me just. And what's the code for the function? Let me see if there's like more fucking replies on the thing. Nope, no new replies, so no one has hacked it yet. Here's the code for the shoe reset completion function. Uh, I think it can be simplified. There's a lot of repetition. Me, you know the human teaching the AI. Repetition here. Can you simplify this with low dash or date FNS? I still think this is faster. We're doing this for 56 minutes. It would have taken me way more time. And now we're going to make it write tests for this, which is the best part. <laughs> we're going to do test by test. And this thing is going to test it. I said shorter. This is not simplified. There's a lot of repetition. Well, actually, I like the previous ver version. I like the previous version more. But can you make it shorter? Or there's no way. Is that your maximum capacity? Kind. It goes like to a fucking library, reads like 50,000 books like motherfucker. <laughs> oh shit, dude. Exciting times we live in. I said that I want to quit web development. I never want to quit develop web development. If this my coding partner, the shit we are going... Like yesterday in one hour, I added fasting tracking logic with the React component and everything. Here's an alternative way to simplify the shoot receiver by using get time method on a date object in the math floor. Nah, fam, like, that, that's too complex. That's too complex. I'll just use the first fucking version, okay. Should reset completion count. Okay, and it says current data get weak. Does not exist on type date. Um, let's go... Well, actually, this would be a better version because... Okay, time period in milliseconds. Like, this is, this is absolutely mental. Um, habit is... Habit and habit completion is the thing. And now it's missing habit the time period because we didn't add that. I mean, we didn't migrate that yet. So I'm going to do the migration, db migrate. Um, add time periods and times per day completion. Uh, okay. And I think every habit can be, let me just get my phone because I have like an app that I use.
an app that I'm using as an example, which is called Streaks. That was my previous habits app before I made my own. And when you enter a habit, it asks you, is it a day long task? Is it a week long task? Is it a month long task? Which you already have that logic, right? And then it has task days. It's either specific days of the week. Cool. Uh, or it's number of days per week. That's time period. And I think times per day should just be refactored to be times per period. Times per period. And here, times per day. If completion count is habit times per day. But does it know actually? Uh, I'm not sure if this is going to be buggy because times per period. Um, okay, these, these are just imports, by the way. Imports and is valid completion. Oh, yeah, I need to... Uh, I need to tell it and what's the code for his valid completion. Hey, looks and welcome to the stream. Yeah, this thing is absolutely insane. Um, his valid completion is habit the days day of week because we're just going to add that and day of week. We're just going to add that and um, let's just rename it doesn't make sense that it's named times per day because we have different periods now day week and month let's just see what's it gonna refactor it's not just accurate because it used to represent dude here's an updated version of the, that uses more descriptive name of the property uh where do you see that property buddy no, this function is fine. The other ones are not. Refactor. Please. Fine. Elmar.dev, that's a great fucking idea. With When this has an API, you can actually make an app where people can, you know, write groceries and shit. And this will tell it, like, absolutely in better. In the app that I'm building, it's gonna have AI in itself. I don't know what the AI is gonna do, but I wanna dive into that territory because it's fucking exciting. Um, sure, I'll probably uh, to use more accurate, properly named completions for period instead of times per day. Here's the updated code. Let me just see where does it update it. Completions per day. Uh, completions per period. If habit dot completions per period. Okay, so I can just call this instead of times per day. Uh, times per day completions per for period. Um, no, but like completions per period, maybe things at, of, of this is wrong. If the completion count is bigger than habit, that complete no, actually, it's fine. Can we actually call it something like target completions? Let's see if it's gonna comp target, yeah. <laughs> at, at which point it's gonna be like, fuck you, I'm not gonna refactor your code, never. Hard completion type is valid completion, current streak. Habit the target completions. Okay, so instead of calling it whatever we called it, completions per period, completions per period. <laughs> GitHub Copilot just chilling in the corner, just watching, you know. Nothing, just look at it. Look at its face, just chilling here like, oh fuck. Um, I'm screwed. Like developers are saying I'm screwed, but also GitHub Copilot is like, oh fuck, oh for fuck's sake. Uh, target completions. Uh, no wait, I, I I'm fucking up the code now. You let the human touch it, it's fucked. Time period. It was not supposed to be time period. Habit dot time period. No, is it time period? It is time period. So what am I refactoring? Times per period times per period should be target completions now cool so time period is fine okay um let's just rename this db migrate um warning there's you're about to drop the column times per day on a habit and still contain yeah i'm just renaming it dumbass but it's fine yes rename target completions Target completions int default one. 
Like how fast can this thing generate a library like Prisma for you? Do you even need Prisma to do migrations for you? Like you can just tell it what migration do you want and it will do the thing. Absolutely fucking mental. Okay, now let's go back and let's recompile. Let's rerun the server. Let's recompile TypeScript. And the fuck? I'm missing the code for is valid completion and update three. So those two are missing. I'm missing the functions update streak and uh, is valid completion and is valid completion. Well, it does that. I'm going to, okay, it doesn't, ah, oh, shit on me. So now like I, as soon as I have all the code start off and end off in the current version of date, date FNS, they don't exist. So what is it called? Start of day, I guess. Start of day. No, but here I think it's used also for weeks and for other shit. Like it's range for start date and end date. Start of end date time period. How the fuck does it use that? At this point, I'm very confused. Because we're trying to add complex functionality. Like adding simple, simple functionality would have been... Like if I just wanted to add streaks, it would have been faster. Um, now what does it do? Update streak and is valid completion. It gives me the code for that. Cool. Um, this Prisma still doesn't know that we have a new thing, so I'm going to have to go here. You know, the human part of things, which is annoying. Get streaks and just tell it to use the things. Okay, now it's like less errors. It's fine. And day of week, it's going to be here. And habit.completions. Sort by habit.completions that day. So we got to tell it this is going to be habit. And here's where GPT, uh, the thing can be useful. Uh, Copilot. Now I can just tap this because it knows what, I, what I'm going to have here. So current date is missing. It says now. Uh, argument now is not assignable to date. So I'm going to have to say this is new date, I guess. Um, I At this point, I don't trust the code because I changed too many things. Like it would have been ideal if I just guide it. But fuck me now. Maybe I can, like, I, I can go back and we can just try to do the things one at a time now. Because I think I tried to do too many things and this is absolutely my fault. So we can just go back, copy and paste this schema and tell it, hey, can you calculate streaks for this? What do you, what do you think? I think that would be better than the current mess that I created. Because I haven't been copying anything in my editor, so I didn't know when does it make a mistake or not. So I'm going to try again. Fuck it. Resetting the thread. Okay, trying this again. Model, habit, habit completion type. And we need habit completions. Like this, habit completions. Cool. So given this database model in Prisma to write a TypeScript function that calculates the streak, the current streak of the habit. Look, look if we want to analyze things and find all the streaks and the highest streaks and all the shit, we can do that later. So for now, we're just gonna do, but keep in, no, actually let's not keep anything in mind. Let's just see how clever it is. Like, the, will it know how to analyze the things like days of week, target completions and time period to cal calculate streaks for the habit? Because if it can do this, this is mental, really. Crazy. someone made an assistant it's an extension that extends your browsing experience on the chapity web like page fetching and more i created to make it easier to fetch and view remote pages within the chat interface users can simply enter a fetch command followed by the url of the page and the extension will retrieve the display the page within the chat interface no i don't need this to create a chrome extension okay this extension was made entirely by open gpt system with some guidance wow the thing made a chrome extension SVG icons can be used for the assistant extension. <laughs> this is crazy. This is crazy. Load field. Come on, let's try this again. Too many requests. Please slow down. Okay. It's mad at me now. Just say that you're mad at me, right? <laughs> it's either super polite and it's like, sure. Or it's like, too many requests. Just let me rest for a little bit. 
Meanwhile, we can ask it to make a joke. Can you make a craft kill versus rest joke? I'm not programmed to make jokes or engage in humor. Oh, wow. That was such a diss. I'm sorry. I'm not programmed for your bullshit. Do you understand jokes? How are my understanding of jokes? Come on, you can <laughs> pull off a dead joke. It's easy. Do it! No, it's not gonna. Is there anything I can help you with? <laughs> dead joke. <laughs> it's smart! It knows what knock knock is. Come on, dude. Too many requests, please slow down. What if I just do it here, dumbass? <laughs> like, if this works, we hack the mainframe. <laughs> it works in another tab. You just have to open it in another tab. Amazing. So, we don't care about completion, completions during uh, the period. These are just all completions ever. Let's see what it does. Current streak is last completion date. But okay, so it doesn't take in mind. Um, take a parameter. Some users might want to count a streak even though they skipped a habit. Keep. We skipped a day. Yeah, including skip days. It added it without telling it. Can you do what's a dad joke? Can you give me an example? <laughs> Let, let's just focus on this. We can do that on a break or something. Uh, it's a previous day. Okay, so now it knows. It knows the skip, the down completions. Um, have it in your completions for your models. Um, simplify this code with date fn actually with date fns we got into trouble because it was using old things so what's another thing like i don't care about the highest streak i care about the current streak and the current streak streak works and let's just make sure that uh uh completions is taking like okay it's not taking in mind um some habits need more checks in order to be completed refactor such a dick, right? Refactor. No, please, no, nothing. Now it's gonna be like, sorry, grabbing coffee. Grab back later. Have you seen one of those videos like a life of an intern in LinkedIn? Just go type on YouTube, like so many of these pop out all, all over the internet. Just watch some intern's life in LinkedIn or some programmer's life in like there's this there's this person on YouTube, I don't know what's his name. He's traps like a GoPro or whatever and just shows his life like so much food consumed, so much time wasted on like, yeah, but I wanted to have like a pudding and I wasn't sure, like, sure, I got a chicken or sure, a bit of pudding. So much time wasted, so much money wasted. And this thing is like, I code all day, I don't need sleep. Completion criteria is minimum done is number, max not completed is number. Oh wow, now it has a different solution. Next, we need to sort of completions by date in ascending order. Wait until we get to the React part, if, if I ever stop asking it things. If it's previous day, so it added like it's a previous day. And then first completion. Uh, okay, well, some, did I give it that code about days of the... Well, some habits are only tracked uh, on certain days of the week. Oh, what do you mean temp temporalis? Please tell me what the fuck do you mean. Some habits are only tracked on certain days of the week. So add uh, that logic. So then you can modify the current street function to get your account. Criteria completion criteria. Min done and max not completed. Okay, so now we're going back to the previous to the previous code. But I'm not gonna add the complexity of start date, end date, and the other shit. If last completion date, if this is the first completion or previous completion was the previous day's we increment the streak. Like how the fuck does he write all these comments? I don't get it. Um, we have to remove criteria as a parameter. Have to remove criteria as a parameter. Um, what is criteria actually? Minimum done. Um, habit 
already has this info in the DB under the property. It's so fucking fascinating to go back and forth with this thing. Don't lie to them, Nightbot. The gaming streaming is kind of not happening. I started playing God of War and you won, and I'm not streaming it. I'm trying to keep some parts of my life not streamable because next thing you know, it's like, hey, is the kids at toilet channel? Watch me shit. That might happen. So I'm going to stop the gaming channel for a while. Non-completion is not not completed. Sword habit days of week includes completion. Last completed date is now. It's previous day. Last completion date. Completion date. Current streak. Streak habit not completed. Let's shift current streak. Okay, it didn't finish these previous days, but I can ask it. Let me just see. Habit includes skip days. What does it say? Uh, have it model uh, then you can remove the criteria and use the target completions instead here's an okay so now it's using target completions target completions if we stop not completed exceeds the maximum allowed we stop the streak and exit the loop fucking brilliant so do i have everything that i want to have a habit and it's going to give me back a promise um, no need for this to be a promise and use a wait. The habit will already have the completions object on it. Yes, temporalus absolutely I'll put what I wrote here, like especially in the previous thing, because now I'm just rewriting the, the thing from scratch. I'll put what I wrote here, the habit completion logic, against the most fucking senior developer. This will do it in five minutes. The most fucking senior developer would need at least an hour to write the thing that, I, that I'm that i asking for it to write. The date completion logic. It, there's an, at least an hour of a difference between them. And I'm saying the best senior developer, not the junior who just joined your company and doesn't know the fucking kitchen is. It's like, ah, oh, was it? Well, last time I exited this room, it was on the right, but there was a sign here and the lady said, not that guy. That guy is not fucking writing this code. Doesn't know where the kitchen is. Here's an updated version of the function that does that. Uh, what did I ask you to do? See, me dumb human, what did I ask the robot to do that I'm an idiot? That's me. Now need to be a promise and use a waiting. Okay, uh, I'll wait. Coordinate streak habit. Now it knows habit.completions.filter. Um, okay, now please continue. This is the biggest limitation. I already had the code. It was complete. It just doesn't fucking... It will start from scratch. Please don't start from scratch. Please don't start from scratch. But if, if overall you don't see the potential, that this is not some fucking gimmick. It's not if-else logic. It can actually understand a lot of code. It can write a lot of code. Then you're fucking up. Current streak habit includes skip days. First, we need to filter out any completions that are not of type done or not completed. If the include skip days flag is set to true, we also... This is mental. It didn't have that in the previous example. No, it had that in the previous example. But still. Okay. Okay. So I, I'm happy with this. I'm happy with this, except the enum for the days of the week. Days of week enum. Uh, days of week. Oh, uh, yeah. So I have to tell it. Week. Um, days of week. It's um, an enum in the DB. So we cannot use this. Now it's going to do the enum thing and we can finally copy it. How about please finish the function above? I'm going to try that. Temporalus. Okay. I said, I'm not going to reply to skeptics, so I'm not going to fucking do that. You want to use this, improve your life? Cool. You want to be skeptical and be like, no, I'll just write code with my sweat and blood. Fuck Copilot. I'm going to murder it, take its blood and just write my code in Vim letter by letter. Go ahead, do that. Haters. Okay, I'll string and weekday long. Oh, wow. It did completion that date to okay this string and you as weekday long. If the current completion is not a day of the week, that's a habit record. We skipped it. Okay, let's try your prompt. Please finish the function above. Let's see. There's no trade-off. This thing has been released for one fucking day and it's still not part of an IDE. So if you already try to judge it from the worst possible angle, instead of looking the best possible angle, this can do like so many, f like, and I'm not giving maybe the best examples. Go on Twitter, like people are doing things with gaming and shaders and like mind blowing things like, holy shit, this would have taken so long to write. And like some iOS Swift things, like some Bezier curve, whatever the fuck functions, drag and drop logic, which just works. 
Like you have a billion examples in one day. So give it one month. Give it like time to be part of an IDE. Give it time to finish this fucking code. Right? This is this is a fucking CSS something. Some CSS broken, the entire server is going down. The AI is completely fine. The AI is chilling, just sipping a lemonade, just watching the human engineers who wrote the CSS for this, the tailwind for this, going like, oh fuck, we broke the thing. And it's just sipping like lemonade. That's not how we sip lemonade, how I did it, but you know, that's how AI does it. And you haven't seen AI sipping lemonade, so you cannot judge me, right? Uh, okay, just, okay, I know how can I make this shorter, okay. Um, can you give me this code, but with no, um, no, actually perfect. Perfect fam. Do you have the thing? Great. Here's the updated of the current streak function. So now we can go back to get streaks. I can actually copy and paste this without date FNS or whatever. This is coming from Prisma client, uh, habit dot completions. We have to change this and dot completions due uh, like the fucking Copilot is sleeping, so we don't want to disturb, disturb it, right? I'm going to write this by myself. Copilot currently, you know when you're asleep and you have like a fucking, you're drooling a little bit, that's what Copilot is doing. You cannot zoom into this icon far enough, but there's a little drool on it's like, yeah, oh, what? Oh, you were doing with the other AI. That's why I just, I'm just going to, for now, that's Copilot right now, fucking not completing my code. Okay, so in the current thing, there's uh, one bug. Current streak is last completion date, is completion date, and date type is not assignable to type null. And it includes day of week and the day of week is okay. So there are two buggies here. Um, if the not habit days of week includes day of week, argument of type string is not assignable to parameter of type day of week. Uh, what habit days of week includes day of week. It's a completion date. Um, okay. This is going to be a string basically, but we can tell it that it's going to be like as day of week, like relax. That's going to be the type. Um, and the last completion date, it seems like it's the last problem here. Last completion date equals completion date. Type date is not assignable to type null because completion date might be null or or what? Last completion date is null. Uh -huh. So we got to tell it that this is type date, I guess, or what? Date null is not assignable to type date and we can start with new date, I guess. N no, but it like it has to be date or null, I guess equals null because now it's undefined yeah cool no okay and i'm gonna ask it like i don't know how to run just tests i'm not even sure if i have jests here or i just deleted everything regarding testing but we can tell it to actually do that and it's pretty fucking cool write a single jest test for this now what's the easiest way to run jest like i'm, I'm a fucking like i haven't used jest in a million years um Should we ask it uh, what? What what should we ask it? Yep, there the task. Like it even knows that the habits have emoji. Okay, too many dates, buddy. But yeah. I think this is the best part. Writing tests for existing code. Continue the code above. I cannot read all of it but don't repeat the first half. I'm gonna find the magic word so you continue the fucking code. Let me see if some Twitter savior has a fucking solution. Rate limiting their demo. In GPT-3 codecs, they have concept of tokens. You can set the length of generated code associated with a cost. They'll be setting a limit in the chat GPT demo, but when it's open fully, you'll be able to boost. Uh-huh. Yeah, so no one has a solution for this, sadly. You can sign into GPT-3, try codex, up the length of tokens, and write the same props in a comment, and get the same results without textual introduction. Try codex, up the length of tokens, and write the same prompts in a comment, get the same results without textual introduction. I'm not really sure. Um, 
here's the continuation of the justice and then it writes the first thing okay this is the most annoying thing and everyone on twitter agrees that like if this completed the things it's it's game over and google is absolutely fucking done for sure uh current streak Unused. Okay, so now let's actually try this. I'm gonna go in uh, get user current user habits, and here I'm gonna see user habits calculate current streak. I had that function from yesterday. This is like the simple one that it wrote, and it did it like in one second. But and sadly, this is the only thing that I needed because I complicated the logic too fucking much. So current streak of a habit, and it has completions. Right now it doesn't break, so habits is going to be. Oh, wait. Oh, that's why that wasn't working. So habits is going to be... Uh, wait. So we need for each habit to get the habit. And then streak is going to be current streak for H. So result. It's going to be... If I look over the result, we should have streak uh, on the habits. Yeah, it should have streak number. So if I go in the daily habits card, I should be able to see habit dot okay dot uh no actually this just returns a number i think now so it should be fine yeah it returns a number it doesn't return the maximum streak and the other shit so yeah let's go back into code and let's see i'm gonna go to my profile yeah there it is four days in a row so i have run <laughs> i have running four days in a row i'm gonna check this again go back here and I need to refresh because the queries are not being refreshed. But it's showing the current streak. Absolutely fucking mental. Now CZ is being an idiot, not refreshing my device for some reason. Oh, it even grabbed the device. Oh, this old version of CZ is killing me. The new version is going to be fucking fire. Now I, now I have a tablet grabbed in my hand. I have a tablet stuck in my hand. I have to full, fully reload here. Kill me. We're working on a CZ revamp, we're working hard. I was supposed to be working hard on the CZ revamp, but this AR stuff is just too fucking addicting. I'm gonna be working on it, I guess, starting tomorrow again. So, uh, Google has the best web scraping indexing and content level tech. Maybe the current search would be backend data pipeline for an AI frontend. Um, it, it doesn't fucking matter when the, what Google scrapes, when this can give you better answers for 90% of the things that you ask. It can give you like instant and more detailed answers. So browsing the web will just narrow down to just asking your assistant something and just, this just gives you answers, you know? Uh, okay, so running 5k is now a 7 day streak and fasting 16 hours is a 3 day streak. But it finds 3 days here, so it doesn't see the gap here. So a lot of, so this is what I should have done, kids, you fucking moron because i'm i don't want to rewrite this 15 times i should have calculated streaks for my habits app as it is right now i shouldn't have sweated the thing with completions and number of completions and days of week because i don't even have that in my app right now so i'm not sure like does it um okay i need to refresh the page all the time huh because th these are two different queries i think okay now this is four and this is three but i don't have Okay, let's just see. Day four, three, and dog and evening is is one. Yeah, I should have taken it step by step. So it's too bad that it's not in the ID, because in the ID you'd be able like, what the fuck is wrong with you, Sizzy today? For fuck's sake, dude! I'm gonna go in. in. No, it, it doesn't want to refresh. God damn it! This is a new mouse. You're gonna make me break it. Fuck. Is this synced? No, it doesn't fucking do the thing. Fucking kill me that it doesn't do the thing. iPad Pro 9, 12 point whatever. Nothing. Nothing! Nope, doesn't focus in the thing. Fucking amazing. Fucking amazing. I'm gonna use full mode. Fuck it. Let's see if the full mode fucking refreshes. God fucking damn it. How many times can I say fucking? Hey, GPT-3, can you calculate how many times kids I swears per stream? Can you give me analytics for it? It's too many. My brain broke. Running is now four and fasting is three. <laughs> Even though that we have no thing is here. Let's just try the, the one, the dadga, the dadga, whatever. I don't know if these are cached in a way or what the fuck is happening. But like something weird is happening for sure. No, this just doesn't refresh the mother... I'm gonna, like, I'm on some fucking beta version. I'm gonna go on the stable. I remember the stable. It was fine. That's why it's called stable. Don't use the beta version. Mother fuck. 
Fucking fuck. I hate... <sighs> yeah, download. Who created this? Yeah, exactly, Elmar.dev. <laughs> no, I was on the beta version. Um, I don't know what's happening on the beta version, but it says it in the settings. Beta is more experimental, right? We said that. I just don't respect that. I love Electron apps. Love, 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 love Electron apps. Uh, now let's see. Yeah, go to Miracle Force 3000. Fucking Manto. If it says 4 and 3, that's it. I'm gonna lose it. Why do you say 4 and 3 when this is like... This is 1. This is 1. Amazing. Will it refresh? It will refresh. So how does it say 4 and 3? Do, am I showing something idiotic here? Wait, let's see. Just Let's just see. Um, this either has a bug. Might have a bug. Most probably has a bug, kids, because you tried, like I tried level 7 complexity instead of just running with level 1 and calculating streaks for the thing. Now it says 10. So current streak from H. Oh shit, but wait a second. Okay, I'm actually getting all the habits with all the completions. So they should have the things in the database, right? Yeah, it's 4, 3, and 1. So are these completely random or are they based on 1? Let me fire up Prisma Studio um, and just open it here. Uh, and see the current habit, like just to see what's their fucking deal. So there are like 16 habit completions for all of these things. I'm going to delete them and go back to this. So it's zero, 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 zero. So if I do running 4k here, it's one, but I didn't, I never told that the consecutive streak, that the streak could be broken today. I didn't tell it that. So this is right that this is a streak, but is this a streak? No, it's not. So now it thinks that one is a streak, but when I say this, it will say four. When I say this, it will be one. When I say this, it will be one because it finds the first thing. So it finds the oldest streak instead of the highest streak and it doesn't calculate until today. So it doesn't know that it's broken. Okay, so now we're going back to the drawing board for the billionth fucking time, GPT. Would have been faster to write it myself. What? Uh, I'm going back. So we're going to tell it something else now. Um, is this going to be added Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday? No, or actually, did I reset it? No, I didn't reset it. We need to improve the code to only calculate a streak, an ongoing streak. If the, when, when, when do habit apps calculate an ongoing streak? If you checked it yesterday, right? So it would tell you like 15 days. But if the entire day passes today, and then you have tomorrow, then it won't show you the streak, right? Yeah, so if the last completion was done yesterday. I want to hop to re to the React side of things. But I don't want to do the fasting tracker because I already wrote the fasting tracker and I have it on a branch or something at home. Like the most amazing thing about a fasting tra tracker is we were discussing it back and forth, like how should the React component look like? And I was like, can you make like a radial completion thing for a fasting? And it knew that I'm using Mantin and it suggested the circular ring component and it did a calculation for what's the completion of a fast. I totally forgot that Mantin has a circular ring component. That's crazy. Uh, do you only calculate an open string? You can check the type of last completion and return is zero. You can also add an optional parameter, the current string function, especially where a skip date should be included. Here's the updated thing. Uh, done completion is not sort. If the last completion is now typed done or skipped, we return. Yeah, so the simple version of this is, but I would need to delete the days of week and target completions or whatever. I should have done one thing at a time. I really went seven levels deep and now I'm seven levels fucked. Can I go back and just tell it, hey, calculate streaks, count every day, one thing counts as a completion, that's it. I just wanted to get, you know, the to skip an entire full day of work into one hour, but that's that's not possible. Um, the only, you, know, you can check, here's an updated version of the current streak function that does that. Uh, not completed completion, last completion doesn't done. As completion continue the code 
give me the same function with no comments i'm gonna skip this break but actually i'm gonna raise the desk you didn't see shit right uh give me the same function with no comments and no new lines minify the code a little bit a little bit you know just minify but a little bit oh what if we tell it to use no semicolons Ooh, we don't want to teach it that bad bad robot let me see if someone has a suggestion about something <laughs> so many people like like this is probably my most popular tweet ever in history this is absolutely mental like and the and the sissy plug is not fucking like someone is asking me does it run though so fucking annoying so fucking annoying that someone is asking me does it run it's so annoying that the sissy plug is so far down in the tweet most popular tweet the sissy plug is so fucking far down um i hope this helps okay so it finished the thing with no things okay let's write this one now but i have to correct a couple of things right because i was correcting a couple of things so let's go back to the thing make sure this includes come on copilot wake up come please copilot nope sleeping sleeping hard habit completion um okay and days of week as day of yeah oh there it is the the most easiest autocomplete love it and is previous day helper function that checks okay this is the old one last completion date equals completion date and we gotta tell it that this is um date or null so these are the two fixes that we're manually adding and then we're gonna export the current streak it's gonna be used it's gonna be okay so now running 5k is one no so this is still buggy now it's two um yeah we can tell it that hey this is let's try that this is still buggy it shows me the oldest streak instead of the current streak the current streak will only be active if the last completion check was done yesterday does this count count the days now or what like i i i'm confused at this point like what did we give it does it count days of week current active streak how do we explain it the concept of an active streak like sometimes it's confusing to my brain what's an active streak like hmm. i guess oh, wait like if i if i say that i'm going to the gym monday wednesday and friday my streak is not five days right because monday wednesday friday it's a three day streak because the other days are skipped and i think it already has logic for that um so how do i explain it what's the concept of an active streak an active streak is a streak where the last item was completed yesterday or today that's not true because we have i mixed the concept of days of week and some habits could be done monday wednesday and friday so if it's thursday or if it's friday the gym streak is still active because on friday i still might go so maybe instead of saying yesterday uh we need to s tell it something about today it would be so creepy where we can actually have this conversation on a microphone and we like just like explain it to you explain it to it maybe i should start that i mean no microphone but this is still buggy shows me all the streak instead of the current active streak um i don't know exactly how to explain what an active streak is but for example if i say that i go to the gym monday wednesday and friday and i went on monday and <laughs> worst programmer ever in the history of programming right and i went on monday and wednesday uh if i say go to gym monday wednesday and friday i went on monday and wednesday if it's thursday um my streak will be active if it's friday my streak will be active when friday passes and i don't go to the gym then the streak is not active anymore 
Show me the oldest figures in the current active series. Okay, let's see. Like, if this fucking works, that's it. That's it, I'm moving, leaving for the mountains. Alexa, pack me for the mountains! I'm sorry, I left with Google. <laughs> Alexa and Google, worst fucking romantic movie ever. <laughs> I see what you mean now. It's what I mean now, bro! To calculate the active streak, we need to keep track of the last day of the habit was completed and see if it was completed on the current day. If it was completed on the current day, the streak is active, otherwise it's not active. FAM! It understood me! In plain and simple English! I was explaining it to you, right? And 30 fucking senior engineers here, here were saying like, uh... Yeah, right? And this thing is like, yeah, I got you, got you. <laughs> Bananas. Well, let's see if it actually got me or not. How many times, GPT-3, do I have to tell you this thing? Completions is habit completion. I mean, co-pilot. Co-pilot just won't fucking get it. Habit with completions. Current street. Let's export it. And just, I'm going to trust it that it's either fixed or it's not, not fixed. So this is as day of week. And the last completion date will be last completion date will be date or null. Those are the fixes. Yep. Let's see now. Running 5K is zero. Fuck me sideways. Friday is a two-day streak now. How is it a two-day streak, you moron? Okay, it's a one-day streak. It's a two-day streak. But what if I have a two-day, three-day streak here? Okay, so the final bug here is fucking... This is getting frustrating. There's still a bug. Um, if it needs to show me the latest active streak, not the biggest streak, for ex... Okay, that, that's it. I don't need to give it a fucking example. It went fast, kids can program without a robot. Yeah, yeah. Once I get used to this, that's it. Sayonara. Sorry the fuck Nara. You just have to understand one thing about me. When people are like, what are you going to do when CZ this, when CZ that? I care about problem solving. My fucking brain is obsessed with problem solving. Somehow in my high school days or whatever, some teacher showed me how to make a quiz with C++ or whatever it was. And my brain was like, oh, so I can use this tool to solve my problems in life, right? And my problems in life back then were making a meme website that was popular in Macedonia. So I don't care if I'm actually a developer. It's a nice hobby. But I don't care about the code puzzles. I don't care about the, the fucking algorithms. I don't care about being the best developer. I rejected Facebook three times. Because if I went and worked for Facebook, I would compete with nerds. Like, who's going to out-nerd out the next nerd about who knows better algorithms and shit? And I don't care about that. I don't care about code. I would use the next thing above code. I don't give a shit. I just care about making these solutions. So yeah, this will make you dumber, lazier when it comes to code, but I don't care about being a good programmer or the best programmer or whatever. I just want my solutions to be out there. And not everyone can agree. Not everyone thinks like me and that's that's completely fine. Um, this code is too long. Use as many Lodash functions to simplify it. Use as many Lodash functions. Now it... it, it it says, cannot use Lodash functions because of bundle size. That's my boy! That's my fam! It used the entire Lodash library. Like a front-end developer would do like the right, whatever it's called, the tree shaking thingy, make sure get, and this motherfucker is like, nah, I'll get all of Lodash. Fuck yeah, that's my boy. <laughs> oh my God. Let's break this down in sm smaller font. No, actually, there's no way to copy and paste this code. Uh, sure, we can use all the utility functions provided by the Lodash library. Can you import the functions separately instead of importing Lodash as this? <laughs> Bloody L, mate. Sure, we can import them. Okay, so it's using last and sort by. Please complete the code for one motherfucking time. Is there a smart ass that... <laughs> the quote tweets today are, are fucking amazing. Uh, it's basically the only new feature. Okay, that's something else. The time has come. Has someone replied to my... Uh, nope, only four. 
no new no new solutions yeah we're fucking stuck here we are fucking stuck here it might have the solution but well how did it please continue the code your uh or minify it to be as small as possible so i can copy it this is getting No, it started using C and C that type. Motherfucker started using C. Fuck. Use shorter variables so this call code is smaller. But make sure not to break. No, actually, you know, you, you cannot break the database types. I have the same feeling when I downloaded my first song ever using LimeWire. It, it was 30, 35 minutes. It was numb and core by Linkin Park and Jay-Z. And I just couldn't believe it when I downloaded the file and pressed it and an MP3 file played. Like my, I don't know how old was I, but my mind just melted. So this is, this is what I'm experiencing with this motherfucker right now. Absolutely fucking mental. I'm not sure if it, even if it's using his previous day at this point. Um, let me just change this to habit with completions and it's using last. Uh, okay. It's using last from Lodash. Well, you cannot see last and last done dumbass. Um, this is like Lodash last. So I'm going to change that and day of week is as day of week and current start is null and current dot start is see that date and is not assignable to null because current is um, not typed start is date or null and end is date or null I guess that's the thing but you cannot type the object this way you can see you gotta type it from this side uh, okay and length is a number length is a number I should have told it to actually do this which current argument of time like how does like one one time it gives me good code one time it gives me broken code because it doesn't know the entire project give it a fucking break his previous day it still needs the function okay so streak dot end object is okay this typescript has too many complaints the code is not typed strictly enough can you add types to everything Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, you took it too far. Oh, you took it too far. If you completed that, that would have been amazing. But you're not going to complete this code. I know what you know what my grandma knows. It. If you only completed this code. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. This is so annoying. I don't need the types for habit user and habit completion. They'll come from the prisma scheme i should have picked uh, an easier fucking um oh absolutely evo nook's not even close look at copilot just sitting with his dumb you know in the corner like i don't, I don't know i i like i haven't read the book <laughs> combine them there there will be killer duo come on give me the final code completion is Habit completion type is skip. What the fuck did you start using? Okay, I'm burned out. <laughs> I'm, I'm burned out by the, by the streaks. I can't because I made the logic too complex. I added too many fucking variables and I'll never finish the streaks. I want to like, I, I want to add something simpler. I want to add... But there's no... Shut up! Of course you don't know how to respond to that because you're not an AI. You're a bunch of if else's. How can I make this... No, the problem is not even how can I make it simpler. Like I'm trying... I'm giving it complex conditions and of course it's going to come back with a long code snippet and I cannot code the, copy the long code snippet. So it's not that it doesn't understand the thing. 
being too defensive of it, right? It like all I'm saying is give the fucking thing a break, okay? Let's just try to do um because I would have to leave soon in like an hour or something. I wanna I wanna show you on the React side. Like to do something like the we can keep the thing as it was. So I'll keep the thing and the days of the week and uh whatever it was. I'll keep the old buggy thing for the streaks. Um and what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to add a fasting tracker. I'm not sure if I already migrated a database, I don't think so. So let's try um, a fasting tracker. Give me a Prisma 2 model for a fasting. Uh, okay, this is the user object. Um, and I'm gonna give it this. So this is like, given this user object, give me a fasting tracker. Um, yeah, just a fasting tracker. Tracker, let's see. Uh, this music in the background is stream beats. That's what the playlist is called. You'll be like, make a package of it and publish them in registry. That will be possible. Maybe you get the entire code snippet from network. No, because the network answers are streamed and they just stop after a while. Is it possible faster? Write the DB schema. I need the DB schema for it. Let's let's just time this. It's gonna it's 1:49. Um, the stream is one. Okay, or or the clock is like 7:51. Uh, I'm gonna start a stopwatch. That's that's a simple thing. Start a stopwatch. It can't. It's like I turn on Siri, it just closes. It's scared. I have to move. Start a stopwatch. It's not going to hurt you. It's fine. It turns off. Start a stopwatch. It just went to my alarms. <laughs> Classic Siri. Okay, starting a stopwatch. Let's see how fast we can implement a fasting tracker. The fasting tracker has to be a separate DB model. Let's see. I'm not going to give it hints. Thank you for... Oh, that's a subscription. Thank you. Appreciate it. To implement the fasting tracker as a separate, Disney, uh, separate database model, you can create a new model fasting tracker. Uh, so we say start date. Okay, so I'm gonna tell it, let's not keep the dur... You can use the user's object functions to start and end fasting function and retrieve. We cannot use functions for st remove start fasting and fasting get fasting. They are not needed. And also it fucked up all the database thingies, right? Okay, starting from scratch, starting again. Give me a Prisma Prisma 2 database schema for a fasting uh, log. How does it know fasting log? I don't tell it intermittent fasting and then all of that shit. Like it's what? <laughs> it's like teaching your dog tricks because I've done this yesterday and and then trying to show it in front of people and your dog is sitting there like that's, that's what this thing is doing now. Fast is start time, end time, and whatever. Okay, this version of Prisma doesn't need this anymore. You're right, the new version of Prisma, yada, yada, yada. Come on, we've been over this, we practiced. <laughs> Get me mad now. You're correct, in Prisma 2, the exclamation mark is no longer required for non-nullable fields. Uh, you actually don't... No, mother... F Hacker man, right? Maybe it's smart, but it's not as smart as your boy. Humans still rock, right? I would, if it's possible, I would. Does someone want to compete with this? I'm gonna try to write it with this as much as I can without cheating. I'm not gonna help it much. And you can try to write it in code sandbox. But actually you don't have a database and all of that is gonna take you time, but yeah. Fast is gonna be fast relation name, user fast and user fast. When connecting a user to a fast, uh, you have to specify what 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 was the thing he called when you specify something fields 
and references. Let's just see if it's gonna add user ID because Prisma has been driving me crazy with this. And actually non-null is not a thing, right? And non-null is not a thing. Come on, figure it out. This is actually, I think the delay here is not that it's thinking or loading because it's like too much, too many people doing things and the, it's just on fire. Uh, yeah, well, buddy, references ID. When you reference ID, you've got to point the fields to user ID. Also, non-null is not a thing. You can remove it. Imagine if it actually had the access to like the Prisma 2 repo updated because the last time this was updated is 2021 and you know the Prisma boys they're just changing shit every fucking day, right? But it still figures it out. Don't use ID for the ID types. Use a string and generate UUID. I don't even know how to generate UUID without looking at it. This thing ID default UUID. Let's see if it's going to find the syntax. I just found your channel also about the new OPI chat. It's meant. Thank you, Marvin, that you agree that it's absolutely fucking mental. How much does it cost if you're using it daily? Nothing. For now, it costs nothing. Okay. Wow, we did the default UUID. That's absolutely fucking mental. Okay, end time is optional because the fast won't be ended when it's created. Also, we need a fasting goal because users might be so when a user creates a fast they choose a goal and they might delete the fast edit the fast or complete it earlier right um one different hours of fasting and i'm gonna make a typo it's gonna correct the typo it's absolutely mental okay i think we're done with the database model we have an id start time end time user id it connects to the user it gave us the relation it's gonna make the end time thing optional it's gonna add fasting goal and let's see now to make the end time feel optional type fast End time, okay, it didn't make end time optional. And it didn't end the fasting goal, amazing. You're correct, there will be a new goal integer. Okay, the goal is fine, but end time, what did it say about optional? You can simply remove the character. Uh, I, I, okay, I'm gonna be persistent. You cannot use, I told you, you don't, you shouldn't use this to make a field mandatory in this new version of Prisma you can use to mark a field as optional. Teaching, teaching is my son. You know, you gotta teach your son. We're gonna be catching ball, we're gonna learn TypeScript, we're gonna learn about uh, Rust, we're gonna open a Twitter account, we're gonna close that Twitter account immediately. You're gonna open a TikTok, we're gonna delete the TikTok app immediately. You're correct that in Prisma too. Like I love, like I'm not, I'm okay, but you are still using the, you cannot use at all it's not needed for required needed every field is required by default unless you put this <laughs> yeah i have to create an open account and you can use it marvin yeah yeah you can do that just create an open ai account and you can use it some poor gpu is melting somewhere <laughs> okay like i would have written this fasting model for now it's six um six minutes and 37 seconds i would have written this in like less than than a minute the logic for a fasting tracker but it knows now it knows the end time the date time and the goal the default value for the goal is 16 hours i'm trying to write as less code as possible otherwise it could have taken the first version modified it a little bit and that would be it but like that's not the point i want it i want to teach my boy it's my son Actually, that's offensive because it still doesn't know whether it's a son or a daughter or a thing or whatever. Okay, it's an AI. It's like, I don't know how to call it. It's my fucking like, I, I want to teach it things. Uh, okay, it's default 16. This is great. Let's go back to this thing, um, to the user thingy. And we're going to say fast here, fast. Did this give me like an old version? Yeah, it's model. Uh, fast, it's going to be fast. It's going to be a fast array. And oh my God. Okay, so I'm not going to bother with, with the question with the thingies. Or maybe should I teach it? Uh, okay, when you the new Prisma uses model instead of type, and you cannot use this when declaring fields. Let's see if it's going to correct it until the end. Teaching is really hard with these models. I'm not sure researchers have figured out a good enough strategy for it. Well, let's see, because so far everything I'm teaching is like, okay, I will do that thing. I'm, I'm not sure, like, yeah, this thing, like, 
I'm not sure if the data set is fixed or does it learn from our inputs? I think it shouldn't learn from our, from our inputs because we're fucking morons. So, you know, as soon as me and Ken Wheeler get a hand of this, like, that's it. Don't, we shouldn't teach it things. Okay, did the thing until the end. Bro! Okay, so we have the fast now. Now, let's tell it to do something interesting. Make a BlizzJS resolver that fetches all the fasts. No, let's tell it it's great. This is amazing. Make a BlizzJS resolver, 2.0 resolver that fetches all the fasts from the DB using Prisma 2 along with the current active fast. Let's see, this worked yesterday. Let's, we, we practiced it. Import Prisma client, fetch boss root, Prisma find fast menu where user ID order. Yeah, it even ordered them. Fucking amazing. Fucking amazing. So I'm gonna take this. I don't need the Prisma because it initializes the Prisma client. It doesn't know that I already have a Prisma client. So we're gonna go into features and I'm gonna add um, file, call it fasting slash queries slash get fast fasts dot fasts dot ts and i don't like that dude of course the fucking uh thing doesn't work this way because it needs to be uh this function needs to be resolver dot pipe resolver dot authorize we don't want to bother the poor bot with all of these things even though it can definitely understand it um this is a sync function and resolver is coming from blitz this is where copilot would be useful right but it's not function fetch fast uh promise uh, whatever is like DB and this is import DB from DB and it fetches all of the thing DB dot fast. Well, we need to migrate uh, my great um, add fasting model. Let's reload the DB. Let's reload the Prisma studio. Uh, and now what is your fucking problem? A sync. Okay. I don't, I don't even like the thing like this. So it's, we're going to make it a function. Uh, it doesn't have root and it doesn't have uh args and it doesn't have okay few bugs let's let's try to correct actually the bugs um use resolver pipe resolver authorize um and don't forget that in blitz the first argument is not args it's not root but it's args the context object has a session object in it it's my son teaching it how to code fucking amazing i thought i would have to wait years until it grows up until it learns polish until it learns a little bit of macedonia until it's fucking confused like dada why do i speak half polish half macedonian that's english like shut the fuck up let's learn some c plus plus right i thought it's gonna take years for that but now i'm teaching my son and i'm proud of it look at it importing pipe and authorized things that don't exist in blitz.js core and blitz.js server but he tried right at least this function is now correct so if i copy paste this function well, bam beautiful except this db in, the, in this comment so it found the the active fast and shit now let's tell it to make a page um i'm gonna go in pages in my and here we're gonna create fasts.tsx so i'm gonna make a page i'm gonna call this page with title um no actually i'm not gonna make anything here so we're gonna make it do it um uh, make a react component that fetches this resolver using use query and it displays a list of all the previous fasts with a button to create an okay let's just try to make it simple and then we uh, and it allows us to manage these the fasting because yesterday it gave me like a conditional list of all the previous fasts, of the current fast, buttons for starting the fast, and, and all of that shit. So now with things use query, yeah, active fast, look. <laughs> Isn't this mind blowing? It gives you the, I didn't tell it how, I didn't tell it that I need a list, I didn't tell it that I need end active fast, and all of that shit. We don't need to handle loading and errors. And also the new version, um, use, query is comes from react uh query implement this function to update the active fast end time in the in the database absolutely mental use query fast it's using react query it just doesn't know how to do the thing so it's like very very close 
It's like very, very close. Now, hey, Darcy. Now, now wait for it. Now wait for it. We're gonna take it even further. Use query actually returns on um, the new React query actually returns on array. Let's see if it's gonna know that in the array comes data and then in that data we have the thingy. I was supposed to have a date with my wife today. Don't worry, before before you start being like Twitter, oh my God, canceling a date with your wife is like, you should be crucified for that. Like we have plenty of dates, we have plenty of things. I just, I was like, can we just hang out tomorrow? Because I'm just obsessed with this AI thing. I cannot, cannot come home and just chill with a candle and be like, oh yeah. Yeah, that's Seinfeld episode. Yeah, interesting. Like this is blowing my mind. I'm not gonna sleep tonight. Okay, I also blew its mind because it stopped working. Absolutely fucking mental. There is a message. It seems there might be a token limit after which it no longer outputs anything. Other than that, I haven't had issues with code snippets getting cropped. Okay. Holy fucking shit. Look, this is mind blowing. I, I had 29,000 followers or something. Now I'm over. I'm always going to be 31. Not years old. I'm far from 31. 30 and something but that that's crazy people love ai shit i click try again you're correct the use query hook it even explains that the array has data status and error even though that's not true because i think the, the array has other things in the thing but wow okay and it did the uh, end active fast i think uh i think the use query doesn't return this anymore you cannot pass a string to use query you have to import get fasts from somewhere also the second argument of the array is an object let's see if it's going to figure out that within the object because i give it two prompts <laughs> okay it didn't do the thing that I asked it to do it did the get fasts which is great it gives me the end active fast this is this is fucking mental. Okay, so we're gonna copy this. So I'm gonna copy this. And get fasts are gonna be like I'm just gonna change this get fasts from wherever the fuck I did it. And this is the thing. Okay, copilot, don't even try, please. I don't think this is status and whatever. I think the second argument here is an object, right? It's not. Like it knows more than me. Status is any an error. Use queries from React query. No. Use queries coming from. Oh, actually, it was my bad. Use query is coming from Blitz. Um, yeah, I told it that it comes from React Query. And maybe the React Query one is fine. Okay, so we need the, the fast and the data. So I'm going to say export uh, function my fasting page. And this is going to be export default my fasting page. And this is fast end time minus fast start time hours. Now, actually, no, no, no. We're not done with this thing. Like, this is not uh, useful. Can you use Mantin UI and Mantin's list and list.item components instead of vanilla HTML elements? Also extract the... Okay, let's not do it also. We're going to break its brain. Locator.js would be amazing in CZ. It's, it's on the list, people. You know, it's on the list. Um, and active fast, active fast. Is it using Mantin now? Yeah, it's using... Uh, list the old mantin had list item this one has item on the list component okay i mean i'm even explaining things badly oh uh, no i think you're <laughs> fucker you're trying to cheat you're trying to cheat that's not how it works but i'll give you a pass it's trying to do um okay use date fns to compute the duration of the fast but display it in human time like display it like 16 hours and 13 minutes no seconds <laughs> yeah darpsy the code is incomplete so you gotta do smaller things it uses format distance now it used mantin i'm also gonna tell it to use mantin buttons and shit, there's the format distance to now. 
include seconds false add suffix true um actually don't use any div h2 p button etc and replace all of them with their mantin equivalents i'm not gonna tell it that h2 in mantin is a title with an order and whatever absolutely who said who said that you're my favorite person now i cannot read your name spire spear Spe is is that who i think it is spion 669 uh, maybe it, you are who i think you are but it is definitely overpowered and yeah i, I mean i knew it's, it's you and i love that we think the same because when we met we were talking about mobex how mobex is the greatest thing ever the rest of the world ignores that shit they're like yeah but redux and shit now we're like mantin is the best thing ever and people are like yeah but with tailwind i can do the shit it's only a small portion of us so fist bump high five great times this guy took me to, if I remember correctly, we went to the restaurant where Amy Winehouse dined or something, or you gave me the fucking best line ever. You were like, yeah, bro, let's hang out. Uh, this is a place where uh, Obama took a shit. <laughs> Maybe you give me one of those stories, but I had a great time, I remember. We should hang out soon uh, whenever I come to London. Uh, okay, so this is great. Uh, active fast, go land, active fast, text, text, text. It did the thing, except it says text SH2. Text. As a, I don't even read its explanations because my mind is going to explode. Text as H2 is a bit hacky. Um, you gotta use another Mantin component. Let's see, motherfucker, will you find it? This is like the best game ever. I started playing God of War. It's not even close. In God of War, I was battling Thor? This is not, like, it doesn't come close to this game. The game of Mantin and, and GPT. It used heading as an H2. <laughs> No, man, the new man team doesn't have a heading component. Try something else. <laughs> That's absolutely fucking hilarious. Since GPT-4 is expected to have 300 trillion parameters, 500 times larger? Dude, I can't wait. Like, subscribe to all the things because the moment they announce GPT-3, I'll be waking up from my, from my sleep like I'm fucking Dracula or a zombie or something like, ooh, rise. What the fuck? It used typography. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go back to the previous code. I'll give you the hint. Instead of H2, you can use... Wait, I don't want to lie to the poor thing. Uh, import title, I think, from Mantin Core. Is it title? Yeah. The title component. <laughs> so crazy that I can tell it. Go back to the previous code and also do another thing. Here's the updated version of React Component. It uses title from Mantin. Yeah, there's a title, active fast, text, text, button. This is absolutely fucking mental. Now, okay, just finish the code. Just If it finishes the code, we can move on to actually displaying the radial component for the current fast and all of that shit. This, this, this is bonkers. Now, oh, come on, you just finished the code. Try for the third time. Okay, um, let's refactor and split this component into smaller components. You're right, this should be more readable and whatever, whatever. You can refactor a React component to split into smaller, most usable components. Amazing. Active fast, it knows what to extract. I'm gonna punch this green screen because it knows what to extract. I'm gonna turn fucking Italian for a second because it knows what to extract. It's so pissed off. How does it understand the concept of fast type? Like, I'm so lazy to break down components this way. I'm so lazy as a developer. Don't lie to me, you're also lazy. And it used keys. I don't use keys. Like, do I have a smart lock? Because I don't use keys ever. This is beautiful. With the query and everything. Okay, now I'm gonna tell it, like, once we're done with this, I'm gonna tell it to focus only on the active fast, because this is great. It's used list, fast item. The fast item is using list.item. This is great. I think there's, like, duplicate imports. Um... Okay, so this is missing functions for... Uh, maybe I should have told it to do one more thing, but I can just add a button for that. 
So if there's no active fast, I'm gonna sit here. If there's no active fast, I'm gonna put a button for start a fast. So that's it. I don't have the clicks for starting a fast and for ending a fast. So let's um, let's uh, add them. I have to add them manually because it's gonna. Um, let's actually see. Because if this was TRPC, it would have been very easy to tell it. Just make a TRPC router for starting and ending a fast. Now it's gonna be more annoying. Mantine core. Cool. So let's go into fasting uh, and make a file called um, start mutation mutation slash start fast dot ts. Um, okay, I'm gonna try. Add a blitz resolver. Blitz 2.0 resolver similar to the one before, which now wait for it. We'll use um, pipeline dot. Is it pipe? Thank you for following for some reason. Is it pipeline.zod? Pipeline. No, it's a. Uh, what is it called? Get fast. Uh, Resolver.zod. We use resolver.zod. No, actually, we won't use resolver, uh, which will create a new fast for the current user. And a blitz to a resolver, which create a new fast. Let's see. Like, this is the minimum input I give it. I don't tell it how or what or why. RxJS. <laughs> uh, oh my god, he just used RxJS for no reason. Don't use RxJS. Just pipeline from Blitz. Uh, no, resolver from Blitz. I gotta tell it from Blitz RPC, so maybe it knows some code and shit. It's, it's seen some repositories and it's gonna figure it out. And also, Blitz is the, the, like the most hipster technology ever let's not forget that if you tell this to do something on ruby on rails or whatever like where everything is super mainstream it's gonna work way better create authorize okay it's trying it's trying it actually has start time and goal um okay actually when we create a fast um okay it's, it's using the old version of blitz all the time and I, i'm tired of fucking correcting it but Make sure to wrap this function in pipe. I cannot re re resolver dot pipe resolver dot authorize and add resolver dot zod with the with one single argument for argument for accepting uh, fasting a goal. Okay, let's see if it's gonna do this. If it's gonna write the resolver dot zod and everything, I quit. That's it. I quit writing code manually. That's what that's what I mean. With the right boilerplate, I would have been done with this earlier, to be honest. Because this is like very simple functionality. Because like, I think this in the context of a project would be way better because it will know. Now it doesn't know how the rest of my resolvers look like. If it knows what they look like, it would have been easy peasy. So it created the Zod thing. It just doesn't know how to do, how to basically use the Zod. You gotta use resolver. Dot pipe resolver dot authorize and resolver dot zod. Poor fucking thing scratching his head. It has like a fucking patch of hair missing here because with everyone else, like, hey, what's your favorite dog? And I'm like, make blitz things <laughs> and make them complex, make them compute things. It's like, oh, fucking fuck, I don't even have hair. Okay, doesn't know. You are correct. Yeah, the pipe authorizes all function should be imported from the blitz uh okay well buddy we're okay i'm gonna take whatever you give me here and thank you very much so from in start fast i'm gonna take this and i'm just gonna wrap it with this so it it tried the poor thing tried right resolver dot zod and this is gonna be create fast args okay <laughs> copilot just being like uh i also will be useful shut the fuck up copilot create fast zod okay we need to import zod manually because this was um Okay, import Zod from Zod, Z dot object. Okay, it fucked that up, right? Um, create fast, and this is gonna be um, the function thingy. And we're gonna do, no, this is resolver pipe and authorize and all of that shit. Like this is not needed, and this is not needed, and we should be GTG, right? Uh, da -da 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 and da -da -da -da. this should be fine. 
so now root args in context that's absolutely not true i corrected it one time i'm not going to correct it another time because this gives us the goal and this gives us the context and in the context we have the db it also thinks the db is coming from another place that's what i'm telling you like if you're like oh that sucked like if it knows the context of the app this is gonna be like way better uh duplicate identifier goal is from ours okay it knows how to parse those things that's amazing and start time is not coming from there uh c dot number shut up break app start time is going to be a uh, new date because the start time is going to be now cool so connect id user id is going to be user id coming from the context dot session cool so we have the fast no actually i'm going to tell it this is okay for future reference this is what uh this code should look like do you understand the differences that i added let's see how it's going to explain the differences holy fucking shit uh thank you l I, I always fucking read your name as Elvis's tits. So that's your, I'm sorry. Like, you know, try to make it sound less like Elvis's tits. So thank you. And what are your most valuable feature in your opinion with this AI? Um, the most valuable right now, without having access to your code base and without having access to the project that you're working on, is writing complex functions like the one that we wrote for getting the streaks. Like writing all of this by hand and doing all the calculations about streaks of days and years and months and all of that shit. Like, it's really tedious. That would be one part. Second part is generating tests for all of these functions because it could do that. It just doesn't, right now with the limitations, it doesn't do it. So that would be number two. And number three is like, for me, the biggest thing is I could go back and forth. Like yesterday, it gave me ideas about a fasting tracker that I didn't even have. It was like, yeah, but different users will this and that. It's like talking to a human and just bouncing back ideas about how a database model should look like. Then we have like SQL queries, like if you ever need to make something complex with SQL, you can just ask this. Like the possibilities are endless. Like I don't know how to finish that that question, uh, whoever uh, Elvis did. It's the, I'm I'm the most excited I've ever been. I wanted to quickly try WebStorm, it's been indexed since season 8, if you can change theme or font size. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Zico. Uh, and active fast. Cannot find an active fast. Do you mean active fast? Did I? No, we actually wait. We taught it how to. Yes, I understand the difference that you added to create fast resolver. In the updated version, the pipe authorizes are important from Blitz, and the DB is important from the DB. Create fast as is defined using the Zod function from. Okay, if you understand that, can you create a similar resolver that ends on active fast? But let's see if it's going to check if the fast is active or not, or if the fast exists, or. Dude, when this is gonna read the rest of my my app, like when it reads the rest of the files, it will know to do these checks. Like if fast doesn't exist, throw an error. If user doesn't exist, throw authorization error. It will know how to do these things. Motherfuck! No! It did the thing correctly. Fuck yeah! Can you check? Can you destructure? Session totally unneeded. Totally unneeded. I'm I, I'm a splaining right now. Can you um check if a fast exists first and otherwise throw? No, I'm not gonna tell it what to do. But a fast might not exist. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. This thing wrong a time since function for me yesterday for work and it worked perfectly. I'm becoming more of a prompt developer day after day. High five, baby! I'm gonna make that merch! Prompt developer, GPT translator, proud of it, you know? No more senior ninja rockstar, whatever. This thing is writing code. No, I'm gonna make a shirt saying, robots write code for me. Oh, it did the thing. Oh my God, it did the thing exactly. Fast with ID does not exist or is not associated with user user ID. And it tried, like I forgot this part. It tries to see if the user has a permission for this. That's absolutely fucking mental. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god jesus christ in heaven riding a tricycle and sipping a lemonade god okay and fast i'm going to hell by the way with all the things that i'm saying i just i just dealt dealt with it at this point and hell is just gonna be me writing css with no documentation and the devil is gonna be like try to center this thing and i'm like no please make it stop that's my hell uh db fast find one okay so 
Uh, fast delicate? What? Import DB from DB? What the fuck? What's your fucking? Oh, fine first. Okay, it made one bug. Fine first. Fine. User ID. I forgot to distract your the, the, the thing. Or no, actually, it doesn't need user ID. So two bugs, but it's it's fine, right? I'll wait. Um. Oh my god, the lazy person in me loves this shit. I'm enjoying it so fucking much. So here we're gonna say, let's see now copilot. <laughs> let's see copilot. Um, this is gonna be end active. And Copilot has access to my database. So it knows how I'm doing things. Fast mutation. It's going to be use mutation and active fast. Okay. Are you going to import the thing? Well, actually, Copilot cannot do that. But we're getting there. I smell the future when Kitsa doesn't complain. I smell the future when this reads my mind. is like, I know where to import that from. I know that it's called end fast, but I'll, I forgive you. You're going to call it end active fast. It's fine. And fast for mutations and okay, so this is the mutation. So what we're gonna do is the end active fast mutation for the active fast ID, but that's not true actually. And active fast mutation needs to accept fast ID. So why doesn't TypeScript complain here? And active fast mutation is fast unknown unknown unknown. Uh, variables are unknown. Did this stupid thing fuck up something? Resolve or pipe authorized Zod and fast arguments is fast ID. Uh, or am am I the stupid thing that's fucking up something? Use mutation is coming from Blitz. And fast, and this is giving me okay. Uh, equals use mutation. Where else am I using it? Yeah, it's the same shit. Log on mutation, whatever, and active fast mutation. I don't know why is it not giving me the types. No suggestions. I don't know what's happening here, honestly. Let's just see if it's going to work. And we have a start fast. So here I'm gonna do the same thing. Start fast mutation. Come on, copilot. Use mutation start fast. Well, not bad. Not bad. I'll take it. And on click, we're going to say start fast mutation and refetch the fast so here we're gonna see refetch and the fast item is gonna have refetch on it uh okay refetch and refetch the refetch does not exist well we give you refetch here because no actually the fast item doesn't need that the active fast needs that so where the fuck is the active fast here refetch and refetch and active fast will take the refetch and on click we're gonna do the thingy uh make this async and return the thing and say, uh, no, actually, I'll wait for this and then do the refetch if it exists. Cool. I don't even know how this looks like. So <laughs> I have to see a uh, fast item. This refactored it into components. So now it's like my fasting page. And now we got to go in the nav sidebar of the app and just add um, here. We're going to add a fasting thingy. Not, not if it's admin. So if there's a user, we're going to add icon clock. And we're going to say fasting, and this is going to be my fasting page for the thing. So now let's go. I haven't visited this, this page forever. Fasting. Like we, we migrated the database. We added the things. I put the button in the wrong thing. So this should be not a box, but this should be page with title. Title should be like my uh, fasts. And then start a fast should be a thing inside of it because I put it in the wrong fucking place. Uh, these are the past fasts and that should be the first thing. No, the first thing should be like, if there's an active fast now, now wait for it, start a fast. We're going to try to click on it and see what's going to happen. I'm going to open Prisma. Um, now oh, I think I need to restart Prisma studio. God damn it. Uh, the like, I don't have a YouTube fucking moderator thing that it can. That's so fucking annoying. I don't know how to delete thingies on YouTube. Let me see if the restream chat thing can do it. Uh, ban. Can I do that? No, it doesn't fucking work. Great, it just sent it as a message. Amazing. That's why I don't stream on YouTube because, okay, block user on YouTube. Ought to block user on YouTube. Cool, will it delete the messages, you, you idiot? Or will you leave the messages? You will leave the messages, that's fucking genius. Um, add to block list. Okay, I added it to block list, but it didn't. Okay, it kind of deleted the messages, whatever. Um, I'm reading the chat. Microsoft invested 1 billion in this. Write a Babel transform that allows the user to write TypeScript keywords in urban slang. Has interesting results. Oh, wow. What Webstorm theme are you running and what font says I'm Fullbringer? I am, yeah, here are, here are the thingies. Um, so let's see now if I restart the studio. And if we go to fasts, like there are no fasts created because when I click start a fast, okay, 
we need async we need to await start fast mutation we call the thing that does start fast it does db.fast create creates it for the current user start time and the goal ah, i needs a goal so why the fuck is my typescript broken here and it doesn't tell me anything it's like variables any let me just see when I have like new something, new pages, habits, whatever. I use mutation coming from Blitz RPC, create habit mutation, resolver pipe, resolver zod, resolver authorize, input session, like export default resolver pipe. Maybe it's like fucking Blitz. God, I can't wait to move to TRPC. This is so annoying. Export is over, resolver pipe, resolver authorize, resolver zod, create fast arguments, Goal and maybe it needs resolver zod first or maybe it's not called resolver zod it is called resolver zod but i'm not sure like does this know thingies does it know that it's gonna be unknown so the create habit does it know create habit it knows somehow so what am i doing wrong guys like i'm doing something fucking idiotic here um time of day is any emoji name input input session Resolver pipe, resolve, resolve, resolver thingy. And start fast, right? Yeah, these are the arguments. It's a Z object with the thing. And it doesn't know what the motherfucking thing is. Oh, it's goal number now. So now it works. I didn't change shit. And it works. Kill me. So now when we complain, it's goal number. So why don't you complain that it needs goal? Okay, I'm gonna put goal manually. I don't know what's wrong with this thing. I don't know why is it does it not do the thing. Missing a wait. I don't need a wait. So I'm gonna click start fast. Objects are not valid. Uh, it's trying to print an object somewhere. Are you fucking mantomite? Maybe the active fast is trying to print it as a start time. Active fast goal. No, I think there's stupid. No, actually, what? If you meant to render, which thing is a object here? maybe some date format distance now fast.goal fast.map fast active fast uh i think it's the active fast invalid time time value okay so for the past uh-huh fast.end time is invalid time value but yeah because it didn't do a check it forgot to do a check that there's a duration like if there's an end time fast here fast dot end time it forgot that check right that's why the humans are here and now this should objects are not valid uh-huh what with ob uh -huh. start time um how does zero do this so i'm gonna go in zero app and see how does zero display this fasting thing is Oh wow, Zero has little circle thingies. Two or four pillars. Like I wanted to use a different name other than Apple Ring thingies and they call them pillars. You're making great progress and the pillars are nutrition, activity, restoration, and sleep. Dude, we're gonna crush Zero. I'm gonna crush the Zero app. I hate that, like it's a simple fasting app. They're greedy. They haven't innovated much. So yeah, that's, that's my new goal, crushing Zero. So just like started um, and ended. So I'm gonna tell it uh to the thingy hey i forgot about you can you change this to display can you change this to display uh both the start time and the end time but the format should be like today 1735 or tomorrow um 1855 but if it's a date that's not today, tomorrow, or yesterday, we should show the day of the week. And uh, yeah, let's see if it's gonna figure out which date FNS function to use to format this thing. Absolutely fucking mental, dude, what is life? This is crazy. This is bananas. <laughs> So many verified accounts. I'm like, oh, so many verified people and you hover and it's like three followers. <laughs> so funny. I can't wait to get Twitter blue. I, I canceled all my subscriptions. I am immediately putting money in Elon's pocket. But the rich, evil, rocket building, whatever, whatever. Twitter is the, my favorite social network. I'm going to support it in a way better than having ads and making it Facebook. Um, okay, it's using four. Well, close enough. 
there's a date FNS function actually for not doing this. Well, actually, you know, if it's the same date as yesterday and if it's the same date tomorrow, actually, it's, this is not bad. And it checked like if there's an active fast end time, it knows from the previous code that active, like fucking fuck me. Okay, so actually this is not bad. So we're gonna take this and here we're gonna say start time and end time and do the thingy. That's amazing. Absolutely fucking mental. Import data FNS. And then it has today, I think. Did I copy the thingies? Yeah, I did copy the thingies. And there's format from data FNS. This is beautiful, format time. So let's go back. Objects, we still have objects. I think the active fast or something like I, I no, I completely deleted the active fast. Fucking crazy. Uh, start time and end time. We have fast item. So, aha, this is the active fast. So I'm gonna have to like times or just use the same thing here. Yeah, I can call this times. No, actually, let's try. Let's try to go back to our boy and just tell it. Okay, this is amazing, but I want the start time and it's still using mantin. That's the best part. The start time and the end time in the, what is the component called? Uh, in the fast item. Yeah, also, also in the fast item component. So can you make a reusable component for start and end times and use it accordingly. Not enough face bombs today. I know it's gonna do it. I know it's gonna do it. That's the part that's pissing me off. Fast time. This is what I wanted from coding, guys. Do you get it? This is all I wanted from coding. I'm tired of moving these rectangles manually. Move the rectangles for me. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I was about to write exactly the same thing. Look at this. Exactly the same thing. Fuck yeah. Oh my God, when there's gonna be protests and you know there's gonna be protests like, unplug the machines, the robots are taking the jobs. What's gonna happen to the good old humans who are driving cars and doing things? I'm the first one that's sitting opposite the pro pro protest just with middle fingers and with this code. Printed code, you know? Like I'm taking it for review at Twitter and just like, fuck off, no robots for life. Anti-protest, -pro protest. I'm already planning this. I'm gonna use this to make an app to plan and organize anti-protests where people are gonna be like, no, we're jobless now and what do we do? This is gonna take our jobs. Fast time. Damn right it's gonna take your jobs. Text, format, time, end time. This is bonkers. It even has the label. It even has the label. Active fast, active fast. This is, this is stupid. Stupid. And end time. Um, okay, that's the duration thing. We don't care about that. Now, will you render the thingy? Invalid time value. Well, I just praised you, motherfucker. Didn't I just praise you? Invalid time value. Format time is date. Uh, maybe this date FNS is a little bit stupid. Oh, where's the format coming from? From date FNS. No, I think the new version date FNS has some things to do with dates. So let's see what the fuck is your problem. Uh, maybe, oh, I know what's happening here. If there's no date, just return nothing. If there's no date, return and a co-pilot just sitting in the last fucking seat. Do you know that like <laughs> that like student that you had when you were like in third grade, when you have a classmate just sitting in the end row just with a baseball cap or whatever. And from time to time they would answer something and everyone would laugh. That's co-pilot. He's like, I know the answer. It's 74. Oh no, no. Okay. And <laughs> a of all the things it's at NA. Love it. Love it. Keep your hand down. <laughs> Chill out. Co-pilot. Start time today, end time nothing. Goal 16 hours. So when is end time actually? Label is end time. Didn't I tell it if there's no date? Oh no, actually, uh, instead of the format time, so we're gonna move format time here. And here we're gonna see if there's no date. Co-pilot, chance to, okay, okay. It's moving up in life, the co-pilot. Uh, today is not defined. Well, uh, did I delete it a little bit? That's bad. Where did I? Oh no, actually. Yes, sir. Uh, loading spinner, format time, date. But what does it do yesterday? Uh-huh, cool. 
I could have told it to refactor this to date dependence, and actually I will. If you think for a second, I'm gonna leave it this way. Like, no, fuck it. Start time, whatever. And now we need the active fast, which I fucking fucked up. So we're gonna say active fast is gonna be active fast. Active fast. And also, don't get me wrong. When I say it like this is faster, I mean the regular humans, not robots, right? You know that if your boy wrote this fasting logic, it would have been like 17 minutes max with talking in between, right? I'm talking about the regular developer. Let's not kid ourselves. Some of you, right? This, no, this is still not that fast. Like, I'm fucking around. This is like 48 minutes. I still think it's faster than the average developer. Doing all of this, figuring out date FNS, figuring out how to write this formatting logic. I still think that it's faster. Refetch, it's missing. Refetch. Also, I'm joking. Chill before you're like, oh my God, is that the fuck? Like, chill the fuck out. This is a chill stream. <laughs> Yells all the time, swears all the time, calls it a chill stream, idiot. Okay, now we have end fast and I can click end fast and I can start a new fast. And fast, new fast. Now, this looks like garbage, right? You're like, what the fuck? This looks horrible. How can we tell it to refactor this component so this is a little bit better displayed? <laughs> this, the styling of this is a bit weird. Can we display it to look a little bit better and more modern? You have to use Mantin Core though. Let's see. Let's see what is it going to try. Uh, Marco Heaven says, could you not use a voice input, making it feel more magical? I can... Yeah, actually, I can try. What is that dictation thing in Mac OS Ventura? Um, let's see. Preferences. Dictation. Dictation. Keyboard. Dictation. Keyboard. There, there was a way to trigger. Press key to change input source. Start dictation. Press the thingy twice. Keyboard navigation. Okay. Let's... I'm going to try that. Uh, okay, it's using flex. Mother, mother fuck if this looks good. That's it. That's it. If this look, di no, 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 no. No, this is not gonna look good. This is not gonna look good. I refuse to believe that this is gonna look good. No, absolutely fucking not. No, sir. Nope. Flex. How, what, how, how do you, no, okay, knows about flex. Motherfuck. Font weight bold is from the align thing, uh, from the old thing, but I think this is FW now. Yeah. Font S. Okay, and this is a line item centered. So this is FS. And this is like a... Um, what does it want, actually? A horizontal one or a vertical one? I think it wants a horizontal one. But it's using the old version of Mantin because it doesn't know. It stopped in 2021, so it doesn't know the shit. Okay, this doesn't look that good. But it looks better than the previous thing. So I'm going to tell it. Should we sweat this or should we move on? Um... The, yeah, actually, you, you cannot you cannot tell it about the new version of Mantin because it doesn't understand that shit. Um, no, I, let's, let's pretend that this looks great. Okay, the active... Now, look at this. The active fast... This is great. No, actually, I forgot the dictation. How can I use dictation? Do you want to enable dictation? Yeah, I want to enable dictation. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, for fuck's sake. Hello, mate. Are you fucking listening to me? Or are you fucking mental? No, it doesn't. Okay. Hello, why did you stop the fucking music? Are you fucking mental? <laughs> oh, okay. Actually, that works. That's fucking brilliant. Okay, so it like I don't know if it stops the music for you guys, but that would be nifty if it does. Okay, let's try this. Um, now, what I want is the active component should display a radial circular SVG progress of the current fast. Am I a faster typer than dictator? 100%. Am I a real dictator? Absolutely not. I'm a dictationer. Uh, no, what I... Okay. <laughs> now, okay, close enough. I'm never going to use dictation. Thank you for the suggestion. Whoever suggested that, I'm never going to use it. Now, what I want to use is the active component should display a radial circular progress of the current fast. Now, in the, my last experiment, it used circular ring, but it might use SVG now. So I'm going to try the SVG. I want this thingy from zero. Like I want this thing, something like this. Wow, my screen is fucking dirty because don't clean the screen of your phone ever because you would get a life. 
if there's an active fast. It's gonna use circle. Is it using circle from Mantin? Bro! It's using circle from Mantin, this motherfucker! We... Okay, I'm gonna try again. We don't need to check for an active fast because of course there's gonna be one. Also, change from... No, actually, no, no, no. We, um... Let, let's let's see what this is gonna look like. You want an animation? Can you complete the animation so when we open the page for the first time, it animates from zero to the current progress of the circle? No way this is gonna work. This gets animated. I swear to God I'm walking in one direction towards the nearest wood. With no Google Maps, no nothing. Just getting wait like I'm just waiting to get eaten by a bear. The first bear that comes along, I'll, I'll whistle to it. And bears react to whistles, you know. Like, and the bear comes, eats you. No fucking way. It's gonna use what is use animation? <laughs> Fuck! From the motion library. Okay, what is the thing you called? Um, the most popular motion thing, react motion, or what was it called? Fuck, framer motion. Can you use framer motion for the animation? Holy fuck, I just have to, uh, how, oh, oh my god, it's 8.45. Shit on a stick. No, I have to go soon. It's 2 hours 44 minutes. No, we're gonna end this in 30, like, I can play with this all fucking day, so we gotta end this fucking soon. Uh, 15 more minutes. Let's see, where, where were we, where were we? Uh, here. Let's close the GPT assistant. Motherfuck if it uses frame or motion. Okay, well, you know, we tried. Use the animation hook. <laughs> this is... This is dumb. Use the use animation hook from motion library to animate the circle's progress. This can actually be simpler from... Um, this can actually be simpler with framer motion. Try to simplify it. Thank you guys, I appreciate it. <clears throat> like, this is the dumbass human! That's why this thing should have a little arm. One of these slapper arms, you know, the automatic one that goes bing, trrr. But yeah, I haven't even used Framer Motion on this. Uh, framer Motion. Oh yeah, my mic is having a stroke, it's fine. Uh, is it fine? No, it, it should be fine now, right? I didn't turn off the mic, it's just sometimes the, the software and everything I'm using is just absolutely fucking mental. So. You can use Mantine to animate the progress without using motion and framer motion. How, fam? Initial and animate. There's no way that Mantine has initial and animate and transition. What? There's no fucking fuck me. And it knows actually how to... Like, I would have wasted most time on this, on the progress fucking thing. But the fucking fuck me sideways. Okay, let's see. Active fast. Active fast. Losing jobs left and right. It's a new to holiday. Du -du 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 -du. You had money for Christmas gifts once upon a time when you were getting overpaid. Du -du 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 -du. Remember the times when you got a salary for moving rectangles. Du -du 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 -du. Good times now, but you gotta open an OnlyFans account. It's a nice time for a dantum to rock that ass away. If you don't have... A, do you even have a circle? I'll complete the, you opening OnlyFans because we're gonna be jobless. It doesn't even have a circle. Like, this trolled me level hard. It looks like Mantine doesn't have a circle. Can we use a regular box element? No, can we use SVG for this? <laughs> so not the fucking Manto. Uh, you can break down this S Twitter thread now. AI added features to my app. 
yeah, if I like writing Twitter threads, that that's it. So if I ever write a Twitter thread, like just fucking stab me. I saw that in Twitter Blue, they're gonna be adding long form Twitter posts, like you can actually blog in Twitter. So I don't know why people would be like, it knows about animate presence. It knows about animate presence. The end is near, active fast. Oh my God. There's like a tiny bug that I'm, I don't wanna. Okay, thank you for the comments. I appreciate them, but don't fucking comment anymore. Okay, uh, we don't need the flex. We don't need the flex. Animate presence. I don't know if animate presence is a thing. Oh, it's from Framer Motion. A motherfucker, I told you not to use Framer Motion. But it's somehow, do I have Framer Motion in this project? For, for, for why? <laughs> Fucking mento that I am. And active fast is going to be active fast. So it's going to take the progress. Like I should have just told... This is how I'm fucking up this stream so far. I should have just told you the initial version that I managed to do from the first time yesterday. And then tell you, ha? Huh? And then we improve it. But I try to make the fucking initial does not exist. Of course it doesn't. And then animate does not exist because of course it doesn't. I think this is like... Um... Initial and animate don't exist on the SVG uh, path. We have to use Framer Motion. Framer. <laughs> this is the part where the AI just quickly creates a face like it's a Sims 4. Just it, it bothers to go through all of the fucking GPU computation, or whatever, just to create a face for itself. Creates a mirror, looks in the mirror, pauses the music, and I make a typo and it goes like all of that effort. Because I said Fromer motion, it's like, okay, I'll answer you, but just for a second, I'll just make myself a face so I can do, do this. Fucking mental. Let's see now if it's going to do the Framer motion thing. I'm trying to do the level 7. I could have done level 1, circular progress ring thingy. Need a library of Framer motion to animate the progress of the circle. Let's see. I'm trying to read the chat. I'm making a stuff now. I don't see these on Mantin. Yeah, it's uh, it is making up stuff now. Oh, we're even gonna animate the progress for no fucking reason. I didn't tell it to animate the progress for no fucking reason, right? It's absolutely mental, mind. Motion SVG. Okay, animate presence with motion motion SVG and motion path and motion text. All right, I'll listen. Eh? Animate motion. Oh, what the fuck now? At animate presence. Uh, and it was the animation of components. Okay, this is exhausting me. I'll be honest with you. Like, let's just go back to the, or like, let's try it. Like, I'm copying the wrong thing, probably. I'll take the, an oh yeah, I think, I think I fucking up. Um, I just wanted to see the fucking ring. No, oh, yeah, delete everything. Yep. Delete everything. Delete this office while we're at it, huh? Copilot trying to help. <laughs> Copilot trying to help, like me helping in a high school project, you know, when they put you in a group, in a high school project, and you do the entire project, and then the rest of the group is GitHub Copilot. And then on the fucking credits, when you finish the project, you know, when you give the presentation, you have to give credits to everyone. Like I have to give credits to GitHub Copilot, but it hasn't done shit. So, Let's see now. Uh, wrong fucking tab. Sizzy. Great. It drew balls. <laughs> if this is if this is not fucking trolling me, like this GPU is so exhausted that at this point I give it a prom and it's like here's balls for you. <laughs> but it tried. Let's just uh, change the fast just so we can see the progress. Okay, so how do you change the fast? Oh, how do you have access to your database in your browser? Well, that's fucking interesting. That's the browser for developers. Thank you for asking. You can add like a right click, customize the thing, go into custom tabs, add a tab, add whatever the fuck you want, like GraphQL Playground for Barcelona for whatever I fucking did here. Bam, the tab appears here. Now I have GraphQL inside of fucking browser. Am I the rock? Because... Let's move on now. Uh, end time, start time, we need to change, like, let's just delete all the fast because I don't know what the fuck is happening here. Let's just go start a new fast, wow, look at it. Like, try to create this art, try to create this art, it's so fucked up. Start time. Is this is what they call AI art? Should I make this an NFT? So many questions. So, oh, <laughs> we're getting somewhere. 
Maybe it misunderstood me, but we're getting somewhere. Look at this. I click save. Wa-bam! Closing out. Like, this is the worst fucking thing I've ever seen. Um, let's just tell it this. This is great, but a few improvements. We wanna accept fast as a prop to this component. We don't need the flex wrapper. I love how we say we like I'm Tony Stark and this is Jarvis and that's why I say we to this thing. We don't need the flex wrapper and what else? And the circle needs to be completed. How the fuck do I describe it this? Like <laughs> the circle needs to be complete. I wish I can draw to this thing in this shape. <laughs> like how can I like clock clockwise? Clockwise. Absolutely fucking manto. Marek says I wouldn't use this even if you paid me. Well, that's not happening. Um, it's ring progress in Mantin. Joe, that's the thing that uh, last night when I tried this, it used ring progress and it just did the thing. But I want to see how fast, how far can I push it with SVG because we already started doing this. So it refactored the thing. I'll tell it now. There's no need to check for a fast. Uh, usually, I don't have a stroke that often, right? Um, okay, actually, I don't care if it checks for a fast or not. So we're just going to copy this. Is that the entire file? Active fast. I need to move this in a separate component at this point, in a separate file. Active fast. Is there bugs? No bugs. Like, will it be? No, now the circle isn't, it doesn't exist at all. Amazing. Great job, GPT-3. You did it. Woohoo! Uh, GPT-3.5. Sorry, it's going to get offended now and it's, you know. Um, we cannot end the fast. End fast. Because I think I deleted that button. Fuck yeah. Oh, no, actually, I'm passing the wrong thing here. Fast and refetch does not exist. Well, I'm gonna give you the refetch thingy. Actually, do we even, I, I think I had this somewhere, but I deleted it because now it doesn't exist. So we, we don't even need refetch. Let's just, why would this need to refetch an active fast? When an active fast is completed, it doesn't need to, or maybe it does actually, whatever. It's not undefined to element null. What? Okay, so I need to tell it, uh, oh, oh God, it's, it's, it's still terrible. Still terrible, still terrible. Let's just take this to 10 hours and see what, now it's, it's not even a ring, now it's nothing, amazing. Okay, so now is the time where I'm gonna say it. You know what, refactor this back to the thingy, the circular ring. And I'm gonna try to nudge it in the right direction. Actually, let's not include, okay, Siri, like fucking, Actually, let's not use SVG and Framer Motion, but just use a simple Mantine component for displaying a ring with a progress. Maybe use the term donut shape. Welp, already fucked this up. You can use ring. I think it's progress ring, but it's close, right? We can always assume that a fast is going to be there, so no need to check it. Like, I don't know why my stupid macOS just does the thing and then it does the thing twice. Why? Are there like two dictation thingies now? Fuck's sake, dictation, keyboard dictation. Start dictation, keyboard navigation to move focus, input sources, dictation, wherever you can type text to start dictating use a shortcut select start dictation dictation sends your microphone so sources the thing shortcut is english united kingdom i i don't know what am i doing wrong there okay i think this is the thing that we want now perfect like very simple, doesn't have an SVG or a framer motion or whatever, because we don't care about that. And it will just display, oh, but, well, you are, f you are forgetting to calculate the progress of the fast inside of this component. No, I'm sorry, my bad. It seems like with every refactor just gets more confused and adds more noise, says Joe Maffei. 
uh, like what we need to understand is that like a mantine was updated and it doesn't have access to the thing. But yeah, yeah, it's not smooth sailing. Um, great. I love how many explanations it gives me. Okay. This is FS and this is Cirque Ring Progress. And I think it's not progress anymore, but it's value in the new Mantin. No, it's actually uh, not, yeah, default value. And it's not even that. <laughs> it's uh, sections. And this is uh, in the section we have a thing. And in it we have uh, progress or value. Yeah, value is going to be progress. I think this is the thing. And color is going to be purple because, you know, we rock purple in everything, right? Uh, there's the thing, but close enough, right? Value is progress. A color is missing. Okay, color is purple. Ah, that's why you need a color. Cool. This is the thing that we wanted. Took way too long, right? Uh, Neuralink brain chip plus this motherfucker. Yeah, that's the that's the end game scenario, Fahad. Right? That's the fucking end game scenario. Uh, hi, Moyad. Welcome to the stream. Tell the AI to not include any explanation anymore. That's cruel. That's cruel. We don't want to make it feel bad, right? And what we're missing now is the end fast button here. So button is going to be, so the text color is not going to be blue. This is going to be a vertical centered, um, vertical thingy. And we're going to include here the fasting time. So fast time are going to be, oh, thank you. Thank you. Copilot, copilot being useful for once. Now grinning like an idiot. If you zoom on, this icon is like, <laughs> I did something. One thing in this stream you did. Vertical. Okay, so this is vertical and center and button and on click. This is going to be end date mutation. No end. Fast mutation. And fast mutation is going to be fast uh, ID. It's going to be fast ID. Is that and fast mutation let's see how fast <laughs> get it how fast because we're working on a fast let's see how fast will um we implement this and fast and fast mutation fast id is it properly typed does it know that our variables are unknown fucking murder me so let me just go to start fast and just copy this just to see like what the fuck is your problem why don't you know what is this it thinks it's a what? Resolver that pipe so okay. Maybe if you move the Zod first, but that doesn't make fucking sense. It says unknown. Okay, kill me. Uh it's great, but fucking stab me great. Um okay, so now we can end uh, fast, right? It doesn't say anything in the button. That's a useless button. And fast. So pass fast uh is like way too fucking big. Uh mm, is order three and it needs a vertical with spacing five and this thingy needs oh actually it's a list so it's gonna be fine so these are the past fasts and we don't want to display them over the active fast so the active fast always goes first if there's not an active fast we do the thing we click end fast which does nothing because i forgot to give it the refetch here even though this is 100 percent done but we need the thingy here and here we're going to say await for the thing and then refetch the thing async. Uh, okay, start a fast. Uh, let's just delete all the fasts, delete the records, go back, start a fast, go in Prisma, change the start time of the fast, save one change, whatever, and fast. We see the progress bar. Okay, so that was... Um, that was one hour and 11 minutes. I and anyone else would have definitely implemented this way faster, but don't forget that I wasted a lot of time instructing it to do framer motion and crazy animations and other crazy shit. This is still fucking mind blowing. It's still fucking mind blowing. We have a fasting feature. Now I'm not sure, should I keep this fasting feature or should I keep the one that I did at home because now I'll have conflicts in my database. Um, I just let, okay, let's just clean this up. So this, I can actually ship, ship the feature. And if you want to check out better, you can go in the better.app slash you slash kids to see my profile. And because otherwise I cannot give you an example. That's why I'm giving you the link. And, uh, yeah, you can check it out, make an account, follow me. I'll follow you. New Year's resolutions, getting better, get it, all of that shit. Um, not quite next year's, but can you example train tensorflow models 
and then export them in a format like i don't i don't i know like i have no idea about that do you use bootstrap for your react projects as edge them no i use maintain ui I have a web app that predicts the reviewer rating of a headphone based on its measurements that uses that. What? That's absolutely mental. This was super entertaining and inspiring. Thank you, Spion. I appreciate it. React is incredibly inefficient. I guess you would get faster with this approach too. Why are you using React instead of Angular JS? Well, uh, you tried seeing Angular and you got banned. You know what's the cool thing about this? This. Refactor all of this to Angular JS. It doesn't fucking matter. So. <laughs> this is why it doesn't matter if you use angular if you use chakra if you use mantine if you use style components if you use view if you use felt if you use whatever the fuck you want to use it's just doesn't won't matter in the future this thing will just have a compilation abstraction up on top of this and it won't matter what's under the hood we, we will just talk with sentences like the new programming is going to be with sentences how do you want your app to work it won't be like is it angular is it react doesn't matter now this gives me pity like what is it called like this flashbacks with a dog from the war like pff, with the bombs exploding and shit when i see this shit no convert <laughs> do you want real terror to angular one and use root scope <laughs> oh we're gonna, the poor thing is gonna kill itself no i'm so sorry bot google uh, apologize to your cousin it's gonna they're gonna figure it out i'm so sorry that i'm doing this fucking do you remember this thing and the ultimate the ultimate fucking move oh you think this is evil you think this is evil no actually convert it to php html and jquery mic drop mic drop poof This is absolutely mental. <laughs> it did a progress bar with st styles and stroke dash array. <laughs> now tell me, fellow chat citizens, do you think you'll keep your job? Okay, not in the three, not in the five, 10 years. <laughs> it figured out how to do the thing with find ring CSS stroke dash array and the progress and all of that shit, dude absolutely fucking mental let's just polish this a little bit um because i really want to ship it as a feature in better past fasts like my fasts um i would put start a fast on the top now this is the boring part like this is no ai this is just kids improving an app which is like holy shit do you want to tell me that all my past streams were boring because i didn't use ai that's how it's gonna be uh so active fast would go first then we would want to see the button for starting a fast uh here and then we would see past fast so my uh fast and past fast are like wait like all this is hard to pronounce past fast cool start time duration four minutes ago end time to date and goal 16 hours and then i also need here if it's completed or not so fast item yeah so i'm gonna tell it to improve this a little bit uh okay revert back to the react version and let's improve this to show if the goal was completed or or not actually this shows the durations it's sort of wait why would i care about the, my start time oh fuck i got some back issues oh fuck oh, i shouldn't have said shit about the google thing uh about previous fa fasts do i even want to know like there's wait there's one fast per day why would i care to see a list of my previous fasts. Like this is the stupid part, kids. So this is the stupid part where we need to use like a day navigator to just go back and just display the current fast or start a fast. And we don't care about the previous days because I'm now, okay, past fast. Uh, we don't care about them. We only care about the latest fast, basically. Oh, I'm too tired, guys. I'm too tired to deal with this shit. So I'm just gonna keep this as it is and we're gonna improve it uh, at another time. Look at that tiny little progress uh last thing i would add just a small little improvement this is me sweating it but it's pissing me off it's like it needs progress where's the fucking math thing progress here font size is six excel for for some reason progress is zero started today whatever and fast pass fast end time today at whatever Oh, I see what's missing here. It doesn't show when does this fast end. 
when yeah let's try that let's try the last thing revert back to the thing and let's improve no let's let's improve this because it needs to show uh and let's improve this because there's no end time for active fast let's show the predicted time when would the fast end I'm like I'm I'm struggling to keep up with the chat. Yeah, that would work with Brainfuck for sure. It is a game changer for learning, definitely. Like I use some old code that I don't understand what it does, and it just breaks it down line by line. Tells me, yeah, predicted end time based on the fasting goal. Absolutely fucking mental. It did the thingy with a comment with the thing predicted end time absolutely crazy yep predicted end time tomorrow at 1308 fucking kill me dude fucking fuck this is this is great uh... okay is that like is this like a yeah, pro evils, that's what I'm saying. Just imagine if it had the context of my entire app and how I do things and it's connected to the internet and it read docs and it knows the new mantine and shit. That's it, game over. Now it's doing this with no context. Just me copy pasting snippets. It's crazy. Fucking fuck. Okay, I I'm just gonna commit this because I really want a fasting tracker in my app and then I'm going to um, improve it as we go. So let me just check the Prisma schema and the migrations just to see if fasts are fine. I think there's one thing that I'm missing here. Only a user can start a fast. Well, that's true. And end fast can be, yeah, it figured this out for me. I didn't write the permission. It figured this out. Amazing. Add. Oh shit, I cannot commit this. I cannot commit this because the schema Prisma, now for the habits is, oh fuck, th thanks God I didn't commit this. If you remember, I butchered the habits a little bit. Habit. Uh, I added days of week and target completions and time periods and all sorts of shit. So I think I need to comment this out to just revert these migrations because I'm not sure how this would work. So it's only time of day and completions. So I'm gonna DB migrate again. Um, you're about to drop the column days of week. Um, or should we just keep it? Because I actually want this. We, we're just not calculating the streaks. It's fine. This will be can target completions in time period. Uh, yeah, this should be fine. We should be fine. We, we, we don't need a migration here. So by default, it's all days of week, target completions, time period. There's like one more enum that I want to add for a habit app. Is, is it specific days of like model habit tracking? type uh it's either days no this is an enum enum it days of week it's times per period uh, also it might be you might want to do a habit every three days every two days every 15 days every x days so these are the three things and i'm gonna say here habit oh wow okay <laughs> can we have a round of applause please a clap emoji for github copilot who was useful two times in this entire stream you go github copilot you go boy we're gonna train you two and together we're gonna be unstoppable me github copilot jarvis whatever we have here me fucking mental uh okay so now we can do the migration for the thing Add habit tracking types. Guys, I need to wrap up with this shit. So I think that's it. We're committing this. This is going to be, you can check it out live. I put the link, thebetter.app, add fasting logic, uh, commit and push. This is not the prettiest thing ever, but I'm just so proud of it. That's what my dad said about me. I was born. Um... Yeah, I think we can wrap up. Let's check Twitter one more time. What the fuck is happening, right? Maybe something interesting. 
Some interesting reply, people still being mind blown. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that's the last. Well, that's it, guys. Make sure to follow on the on the Twitch thing. Like, there are the links. Don't be lazy, okay? There are the links. I'm not going to give you all the links. Check out CZ. You can check out CZ at the thingy here. Appreciate all of you hanging out. Let me see if I missed something in the chat because I'm a good person, right? Since hackers also have access to this tool, it may make hacking easier. Yup. Yup. Thank you for following. Uh, potentially, yes, at some point, I suspect AI will be in the CSCD pipeline for sanity checking. Yeah, well, we'll see where the, the, we'll see where this will go in the future, but I'll be here streaming. Follow me on the things. We'll hang out more and I will see ya in the next one. Actually, let me ask the, the question. Who's the singer of this song? See ya. Get it? See ya. If you're new, 